free Zoom acting workshop. If you guys miss anything, if you guys want to relive this, it will be on my YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube. If not, you know, you can keep your video off the whole time. It's fine. This is Marshall. For Hello. those of you that don't know Marshall, Hi, he is my husband. He also does all my tech stuff. Um, okay, so here's how it's going to go. Ready? We're going to do icebreaker games, which are, you know, very simple just to get to know each other into breakout rooms. We're going to do three rounds of that. And then we're gonna do our focus exercise. It helps us get present with each other. And um, then we're gonna do a uh, warm up. Everyone, we're all gonna do a warm up. And after the icebreaker games, we'll do a warm up. And then we're gonna go scene and monologue work in the breakout room. So everybody in the Zoom is gonna get a chance to work if you want to. Everyone will get a chance to work. Not everyone's gonna get a chance to work with me. Okay, just letting you guys know, do not be disappointed. I know you'll be disappointed. Do not, but, but try not to be disappointed if you don't get to actually work with me. I choose it by random, okay? I'm choosing things by random. I'm going to pick people today I've not worked with at all. So if you have worked with me in classes before, you know, today's the day for you to really absorb, like Ameli, Pammy, things like that, absorb, um, you know, help people along the way and things like that. We will do be doing a QA and a at the very end and 10 minute Q&A, and those will be for people I also haven't got to speak to, um, maybe a few people that I've seen before, things like that. Um, now, you guys, the best way that today is gonna make the most value for you is if you listen like your life depends on it, because you guys could get your life, you could get your, you guys could be better actors on how you listen, not what I do. So I want everybody to take a piece of paper and write this down. When everyone, I'm gonna give you guys 30 seconds to grab a piece of paper and a pen. It is how you listen is what's gonna make the difference today in you becoming better actors, whether I work with you or not, especially if I don't work with you. So this is what you're gonna write down. What is the goal that you have for the next three hours? At the end of these three hours, this is for people on um, on TikTok too, you guys, I'm speaking to all of you guys, or write it on your phone if you don't have paper. What is the goal that you have for the next three hours, but by the end, if you got, it would make a difference for you. What is the goal? Write it down. I give you, I'll give you 30 seconds. Okay, I'll give you like 15 more seconds to write your goal down. Okay, if you're still writing, keep writing. So that goal that you have written down is you're gonna get that goal by how you participate, whether you act or you don't with me. Does everyone understand what I'm saying? Just like raise your hand if you understand what I'm saying. Okay, good. Whether you act with me or you don't, you are going to achieve that goal on how you listen today, how you participate, how you bring yourself to the conversation. Because you will learn the most when I'm working with somebody else, not when I work with you. Actually, the person that I work with will probably learn the least. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah, because when, when you're working with me, you're going to be like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you're going to be freaking out, right? But, but so the people that are watching actually get the best learning. Yeah, what's your goal? That's the question. What's your goal by the end of the class? And you will get that goal if you live, if you participate, um, how you participate. Okay, now, um, what it is gonna say? Yeah, so when I'm coaching somebody else, you really guys, you guys wanna take it on like I'm actually coaching you. Like I am talking to you. If I say to the person, you know, you're pushing a little bit and you're like, oh, well, I don't push. I actually want you to consider you do. Anything I say to that person, you do do. I've been acting for like over 12 years and I still do once in a while everything that I coach somebody not to do. So if I do it, you guys definitely do it. All right. Um, 
All right, so I did, I spoke about inappropriate behavior. There's gonna be 10 minutes of Q&A at the end. There's adults in here, there's kids in here. So if you are paired up with an adult and you're a kid, make the scene be about between about a dad or an older brother or an older sister, vice versa, because in life we don't get to choose who we, you've been acting longer than I live. <laughs> that makes me feel old. <laughs> yeah. Um, you don't get, in life, you don't get to choose who you act with. You don't get to choose. You get on set and you are acting with who you're acting with. So make it matter, whoever you're acting with, whether you're acting with an adult, with a kid, somebody your age, it doesn't matter. The scenes can work, okay? Um, okay, I'm gonna explain what a break, actually I'm gonna allow Marshall to explain what a breakout room is. Okay, Marshall, explain what a breakout room is. Okay, probably most of you have done breakout rooms before. Maybe, maybe not. Um, if they do that in school or not, but um, so, when we say there's going to be a breakout room, there's going to be something that pops up on the screen and it's going to say, join breakout room. So we're going to put you in random rooms with however many people we think is good for the exercise. And when you see that pop on your screen, click join or accept, whichever one it says for you. And then you'll be put into a breakout room. Now, if you have an issue while you're in the breakout room, there is a button that says, ask for help. So don't come back into the main session, stay in the breakout room, ask for help, and then we can go into the breakout room. Because once you come out of the breakout room, it's really hard for us to send you back into a breakout room and you would have to log off and log back in and then you guys will never get a spot back. Yeah. So you just wanna make sure you do not come back into the main session, ask for help and we'll come and help whatever y'all need. Okay, before we start, you guys over here in uh, TikTok land, I don't know why you're saying you paid for this class. This is a free class. So whoever's saying that, please don't be spreading false information. If you paid for a class, this is not the class you paid for and you need to check what date you paid for. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'm not taking questions right now just because of the time. Um, you will have to learn as you go just because of how many people we have in here. And uh, there's a, there will be a point that I, I take questions. Okay. All right. All right, you guys. So here's the thing. Um, in TikTok land, if you guys want to make your own Zoom while I'm doing this so you guys get to work together, do it. So many people have done this before where they've made their own Zoom in here. So you guys get to work as I'm talking with these with this Zoom. So if you guys want to do it, create the Zoom and do it. All right. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Uh, test raising your hand. Okay, so can everybody test raising the hand button? And if you don't know how to raise your hand button, you say... Come up first. Huh? No, yeah, it puts them in order. Say, I don't know how to do it in the comments, and can somebody please help them in the comments? If you don't know how to raise your hand. Say, I don't know how to do it, I'm on a computer. I don't know how to do it, I'm on a iPhone. I don't know how to do it, I'm on... You want to say it like that. I don't know how to do it. I'm on a laptop. There you go. Allison says, I don't know how to do it. Hi, Allison. I'm on a laptop. So so if somebody, if you guys can just help each other, because I don't have the time to go through it, just help each other figure it out. And just work work through that as we keep going. Um, okay, are we going to, are we ready? Yeah. So, um, all right. So, you guys, we'll, we'll switch to Instagram soon, not yet. So take your time to still meet in here, make a Zoom or whatever. Um, okay, so we're gonna start with uh, with icebreaker games. Ready? Okay, with the icebreaker games, you guys in the chat can actually write it in here if you want. And uh, if you are making a Zoom, you can still work that out in here. Okay, here we go. So here's the game. I'm gonna put you guys into breakout rooms for for um for two minutes and you're going to say your name where you're from and um your favorite movie your name where you're from and your favorite movie okay so hang on just a second uh if your four is good your name where you're from where you're make sure everybody gets to speak and uh, two minutes is fine. Name where you're from and your favorite movie. Okay, That's right. enough. Okay, here we go. We're gonna open the rooms. Click, click join. join or accept and you'll be put in your room. 
Look, everyone's saying what their name, where they're from. Okay, Marie's Matilda. Someone uses the code. Rachel, everyone can stop changing. Uh, yeah, your name, we're saying breakout. Uh, we're doing a uh, name, where you're from, and your favorite movie. I love this. So great. Little Women, 11. I love it. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. I love it. It's good news for now. All right, awesome. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna hear from like two people. Uh, just raise your hand, use the raise your hand button. Uh, for those of you who are co-hosts, I know you can. Elaine! He's not, he's not a co-host, <laughs> because I never saw him. Asked um, uh, Elaine. Hi. Hi, Elaine! Elaine! Um, Betty! Well, so uh, the breakout room was very nice. I enjoyed it. I met three wonderful people, and it was just a fun experience, as usual. Cool. And what? Wait, what is your? Um, I do I know what your favorite movie is? I think I told you. Well, tell tell me again. Guess. Okay. No, you just guess. Guess. Is it something to do with uh something to do with uh what's your name? Really what's your name, Billy? Billy? No. Really? Oh, it's actually the Karate Kid from 1984. Oh, yeah! That's right. That was the next thing I was going to say, the Karate Kid. Oh, you guys didn't get to finish? Yeah. Was it too quick? Was that too quick? Okay, we'll the time? We'll do three minutes next time. Where were the people from? Elaine? Yeah, where were the people from? Like, where, where did you get people um, in? Oh, so uh, one girl was... Uh, I'm trying to remember now. I remember their names, but not where they were from. I forgot. But I know one girl was from... Um, yeah. Listen like your life depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's fine. Okay, cool. All right, awesome. Awesome, Elaine. Um, Ava with the with the uh, little emojis. emojis. Cat emojis. Cat emojis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <big break. laughs> <laughs> Who are they? Hi. Who are they? Who are they? Uh, they're my friends. They're on, they're on FaceTime. They love you. Oh, I love you guys. Oh my god, this is so weird. <laughs> oh my god. Wait. Elaine, I watch your, I watch your TikToks. Aw. I do it though. Elaine, you see that? She duets you. Oh, I miss it. It's so cool. I love it. So how, how was the uh, breakout room for you? Oh, it was so cool. I met these um, three girls. Um, well, they're all from like China and stuff, and I'm from like Manchester. Oh, cool. Awesome. That's pretty cool. Yeah. You're meeting people all over the world in here. <laughs> yeah. I love it. And your, your, your name's Ava, right? Ava. Yeah. So cool. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> Love it. Oh, this oh, great. Well, keep, keep, um, being awesome. Okay, so we ready for the next game? Yep. Okay, the next game, the next round is your name, where you're from, because you'll probably be with somebody else. Your name, where you're from, and, um, who your favorite actor is. Okay? Your name, where you're from, who your favorite actor is, and we'll do it for three minutes so you guys get a chance. You, uh, you. Ready? All right, go. All right, here we go. You're muted, Eliana. Thank you, Pammy. <laughs> this is why I have you guys close. I'm picking people I haven't really got to speak to before. So you know, so you guys know. Okay, go ahead. All right, here we go. IOP. IOP? Aoife. Aoife, yeah. hi! Hi. Um, I was in a break room with three really nice people. Um, one was from Liverpool, cool. one was from Germany, and one was from Greece. Oh my gosh! Where where are you from? Um, I'm from Ireland. Ireland? 
Where in Ireland? Um, I'm from, I'm at the very bottom. I'm in Cork. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. That's so cool. I've always wanted to go to Ireland. It's a really nice place, especially if you like, if you like historic tours and stuff. I do, yeah. and I love your accent. Your accent Thank is you. one of my favorite accents. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, and who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite actor? Um, I like Maggie Smith. She's, yeah. yeah. Okay, awesome. A very great. big fan. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, great, 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 great. Um, all right, so let's go to the pa Paula Sophia Martinez. I don't know how to meet you again. What happened? Hi. <laughs> Hi! Um, I was paired with a lot of really nice girls. One was from India, and one was from, like, Britain, or whatever, you, I don't know, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm really bad at this. And, um, and I, I forgot, I think the other one was from Canada, but they were all so cool. Cool, and um, who's your favorite actor? Um, Millie Bobby Brown or Emma Watson, because they both set really good examples for younger audiences. They really, really do. And I love that, I love that you said that. And that's that's the kind of actors that you guys should be, right? Setting good examples for, for, for young people and, and older people. Great, awesome. <clears throat> okay. Uh, last round of game. Uh, last round we're going to do... Okay, this is a very special round because you're gonna say your name, where you're from, in case you're with different people. And this time you guys are gonna get to create what you want as an actor. I I am, you know, I wanna win an Academy Award or I wanna work with Meryl Streep or I, I wanna own my own production company. As big as you make it because in life when you tell people what your dreams are, sometimes people squash them right so you want to have the freedom to be able to say your dream and people are like yeah that's so great so when anybody says your dream when you say oh i want to work with meryl streep i want to own my own production company i want to win academy awards whatever you want big as big as big as big as, big as you can make it i want you all everyone that's listening to the person be like oh my god that's amazing you know like encourage it okay so you draw, your job as listeners to encourage it and your job as um, as um, as someone that's creating it to say as big as you want. Okay. Uh, yes, no embarrassment. Your dreams should be, you should be happy to speak about your dreams. Okay, we ready? All right, go, go. Let's you're, do it, here we you're, go. Oh yeah, now, so, so for you guys, your name, where you're from and what your dream is as an actor. Name where you're from, what your dream is. You just say it in the comments or create it, whatever you want to Did you guys unmute? Hello. Hello. Um, yeah. Um, I'm Natalie. Hi, Natalie. I come from, I come from Germany. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. And um, what and is your what is your what is your dream? Um, I want to travel a lot and um, maybe being a famous actor or an author someday great awesome and what about the people in your in your in your room um someone wanted to um work with millie bobby brown together okay yeah and awesome that's so great i'm glad you're here found that that dream pretty cute. i'm sorry what uh, i found that dream pretty cool yeah it is really cool and what time is it in germany um 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Okay, good. So it's early enough. It's not like so late for you. Okay, great. Oh, I'm so glad I got to speak to you. All right. Let me lower the hand. Okay. Allison Wong. What's up? Hello. Oh my God. 
Would you be comfortable after the end of the class to sing? Um, yeah, I'll be willing to sing. <laughs> you actually helped me overcome my stage fright so well that I'm singing in front of fans. Fans. I'm singing in front of friends and family now. So <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> you want to sing now or you want to sing later? I don't want to give you anticipation. Then at the end of the class, you're like, oh, I gotta do it. <laughs> Um, I don't mind singing now. Yeah, no, sing now, so that we just don't, you don't, you, we, uh, we don't have to get you to do it later. What should I sing? Um, should I sing the same song on the live? Sure, yeah, go for okay, it. Okay, yes. And at last I see the light, and it's like the fog has lifted. And at last I see the light, and it's like the sky is new and it's warm and real and bright and the world has somehow shifted all at once everything looks different now that i see you ah! <laughs> i'm so proud of you you like your confidence level has gone through the through the roof since the last time I saw you. Remember the remember the other time you're like, let let me block the the, the, the camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Are you like, how do you feel about yourself? I was honestly so proud of myself from the live, and I'm so proud of myself right now. Yes. Thank, thank you so much for the advice, guys. I love you're you. welcome. So. You're welcome. You know, you should really be thanking yourself because we didn't do anything. <laughs> You just took what we said and you said, I can do this. But you said, I can do this. You know, it doesn't matter what we say, you said it. So you should be so proud of yourself. I'm so proud of you. This is so great. <laughs> That's so awesome. You, now you gotta go read the comments because everyone, everyone loved you. <laughs> yeah, go read the comments. Okay, great. This is so great. I, I love this, you guys. This is so awesome. Okay, um, Jarrell. Jarrell. Hey, what's up? What's I'm up? Hi, uh, I'm from New Jersey. Um, cool. I met some pretty cool people in my um, breakout room. Uh, one of them was, uh, I think it's Karen. <laughs> Britain. Um, he said he wanted to be in a movie with uh, Jennifer Aniston and all the other actors that he wanted to be with. Um, he was pretty cool to me. I met some other cool people. I don't really remember their names. <laughs> but yeah, this is a pleasure to be on here with you. Uh, I am so glad that you're here. And it's just, it's really great when I can see not only like young women, but young men also on here. Because most of the time, it's more, more women are in this field than there is men. So it's, it's really good. It's really good that you're here. And um, there's something else I was gonna say. New Jersey, Brianna's from New Jersey. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys gotta, you guys gotta make friends since you guys are in the same place. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great, awesome, awesome. Thank you. Okay. Um. All right, you guys. Now we're gonna do the warm up. I told everybody on TikTok I'm, to come on Instagram to do the warm up, and after the warm up on um, Instagram for you guys, we're gonna go back to TikTok to to do the actual class. I mean, this is the class. So those of you that are like, well, why are we warming up? You know, this is weird. This is an acting class. Who is like, this is weird. We shouldn't, it's okay to, it's okay to raise your hand. Like, this is weird. Should we be doing this? Right? Like, why are we, why are we warming up? You know, it's weird. Yeah. Right. Because in acting, the reason why we warm up is because in, in acting, you have to use your body. Your body is just as much as an instrument as your head. And if you're connect, your, your emotions are in your body. They're not in your head, right? Where do you feel emotion when you get cry, when you cry? Where does the emotion, where do you feel it? Just point. Where do you feel your emotions? Yeah, here, here sometimes. Like when you get anxiety, where does it go? Like in the body, right? It's all in the body. So you have to get connected to the body and that's why we warm up. And that's why we warm up with our voice. And that's why we warm up with our, um, their body if you guys are sending me messages because i see things that are like private i'm not going to read them i have no time to read them so if you guys need questions answered i would suggest you just ask them and one of the moderators or somebody that's been with me before can answer for you 
okay? All right, so this requires you guys to stand up if there's a reason that you can't stand up, like there's, you know, there's some kind of physical reason you can't stand up or there's not enough room, don't worry. Everything can be done seated, okay? Everything can be done seated, so don't worry if you can't stand. All right, here we go. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Woo, I'm gonna look like a, look ridiculous. Everyone's gonna do this with me, ready? So we're first gonna do jumping jacks, and this warm up's only gonna be like 15, 10, 15 minutes. It's gonna be a very quick warm up. All right, jumping jacks, 30. You guys wanna count, okay? Count with me. Don't let me be the only one counting. I can see your mouth, okay? This isn't TV. I see all of you. All right, yes, Kieran wearing his shirt, his hoodie. Okay, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. parents are like what the heck's going on just tell them don't worry it's an acting class i am so out of breath right now who else is out of breath i can't breathe okay good so don't worry about cracking you guys are going to crack i don't expect you guys to be able to sing i just want you to go really high and really low so it goes like this <clears throat> people do this all the time, ready? So we go to the floor and I see people do this. No, no this, okay, well, that's not what we're doing. We're doing this, this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna go down, bend your knees, I'm gonna tell you to shake your head yes, I'm shaking your head no, bend your knees, and then I'm gonna come back up like this. Head's the last thing to come up. Okay, here we go. Drop your head, roll down, slowly bend your knees, bend your knees, and straighten. seen my TikTok, this wackadoodle exercise is supposed to look ridiculous, okay? If you don't feel it, yeah, Karen's doing it right now. If you don't feel ridiculous, you are not doing it right. If you don't feel embarrassed, you are not doing it right, okay? I actually want you all to take yourselves off mute for this. 
Okay. Okay. I'm muted. Why am I muted? Hang on. Hang on. Hold on. Wait. Hang on. Hang on. So the goal before I take you off mute, the goal is to look ridiculous. You're gonna flail around. You're gonna be like, whatever you wanna do. The goal is to look as ridiculous as possible. Okay. 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 Scream, yell, get it all out. You just gotta get it all out. Be as ridiculous as possible, okay? Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you all to unmute. I look ridiculous go. on right a daily after basis. Right after go. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, I know it. It's the wackadoodle exercise. <laughs> and then as soon as I realized it was a wackadoodle exercise, I saw it right away. <laughs> I love it. And I'm glad you finally got your hoodie. Yeah, I I waited so long, but I'm so glad I finally got it. It's so cozy as well. Yeah, it looks good on you. I literally always sleep in it. <laughs> How do you feel? Because you guys, Karen, I've worked with Karen many times, and this is not his first time doing this. <clears throat> How do you feel now after doing it many times? Um, I feel like the wackadoodle exercise, like it's very helpful when you just want to get all the nerves out. Like it doesn't doesn't just help with nerves. Like you feel really scared about doing a scene or anything like that. Like it just helps you just get untense, untense, untense yourself, and you just feel like relaxed yeah. and calm you just let all the excess energy out so yes yeah absolutely Karen I love it okay great I'm glad I can speak to you okay um you'll have to meet uh, you're you're I can't mute you so you meet yourself okay Martina Kanan okay so my sister was here with me and she was like what are you doing she just rocked out and I was like oh this is so embarrassing because she was like what are you doing but at the end, she started doing it with me. Really? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so funny. Like, so you gotta be free. And she's like, I want in on the action. Let me do it. No, because she was like, um, I was like, what are you doing here? And I was like, I'm taking a free class. And she was like, and I was like doing this. And she was like, what are you doing? And I was like, it's an exercise to get like, to feel embarrassed. And she was like, okay. And she just started doing it with me. <laughs> and, and I was like, oh my God. How do you, I love your dog walking around. How do you feel? after i was i was really like relieved like i was like oh she did it with me like i'm not the only one that like yeah. likes this and i was like actually really embarrassed but yeah yeah you got a hundred good it felt really really good yeah it does you got a hundred people doing it with you and then you got another 376 people doing it with you on uh <laughs> on uh instagram on TikTok. yeah instagram, yeah okay great i love it. i'm glad that you're here okay uh one more person lily bromby <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Um. So when I did it, I felt sort of like, like I felt like all my sort of nervous energy was gone. Uh -huh. so sort of like, when I when I was doing it, I felt really embarrassed and like like this is just horrible. But then afterwards, I felt almost like I want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just loved it. What, do you, what is it like that you allow yourself, and I, you guys can a, a answer in the comments too, answer in the comments also. <clears throat> what do you think, what is it like for you to allowing yourself to be ridiculous for a few minutes? Well, it's sort of just sort of like, you don't normally get the sort of chance to do things that are just like crazy. But when you do it, it sort of feels like I just did it and I wasn't embarrassed, I just loved it. 
Right, exactly, thing. right? I mean, like, if you can do that, you can definitely act with somebody else, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that, that's the worst it can get. And yeah. you, sometimes people are afraid of acting in front of people because they're afraid to look stupid. Well, you guys just look really stupid. I mean, it was great. I look really stupid, too. And, and guess what? Did any ba anything bad happen? No. no. Because you guys said it's okay to do this right now. It's all about what you say about yourself. Good. Amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Awesome. All right. The next thing is, I guess we're, I guess we're doing, we're going to do the focus exercise now. And, um, <clears throat> I'm going to lose my, uh, my voice by the end of this and that's fine. Okay. The focus exercise is when two people look at each other and they don't break eye contact. I actually just want to show you an example. So I actually want to use two people that, um, that have done this before, you know, that, that worked with me. So, um, Marshall, just, just call out someone that can pin, can spotlight. <clears throat> I guess, uh, Pammy. Pammy, yeah, find, find her. Let me find her. She can just unmute Pammy, can you unmute yourself, please? I did. I'm okay, here. Go. Okay, so let's um, go to speaker view. So everyone, if you want to go to speaker view. Um, okay, good. Everyone go to speaker view. So Pammy, say something. Hi. Okay, and now pick um, um, Brianna. Can you unmute yourself? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. Now I want you guys to look at each other. Hold on. Wait, let me pin Brianna. <laughs> I need to find. <laughs> One second. How how do I pin Brianna? Wait. Right click. You have to right click or double click. I need to find her first. But yeah, that's the thing. I need to find her. Well, let me uh, let me see if I can spotlight one of you, and you guys can find each other. Valerie, let me find. Cause I'm on my phone, and it's hard. <laughs> okay, Pammy, do you see her? Yeah, I see her. Okay, so so pin her. Okay, I see her, but like. I can't see. I just see myself. Oh wait, it says wait. It wait. The spotlight. Where? Wait. Okay, now okay, I see her. Found her. Wait, pin. Okay, I, I pinned her. Okay, you guys pinned each other. Yeah. Wait, how do I pin on the phone? You double click. Okay, I guess I am pinned because okay. I. Pinned. Okay, good. So you guys, we're only gonna do this for a minute, and you'll just go until I say stop. And this is what they're gonna do. They're they're making eye contact. They're not looking at the, the they're not looking at the screen. They're actually just making eye contact with each other, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just say a few things so you guys are on um, spotlight view. Just say your name. This is what you guys are gonna do. Your name. Hi, I'm whatever. And hi, I'm I yeah. Hi, I'm from. If you guys don't know each other, I'm Brianna, and I'm from wherever you're from, and the opposite. So both do it just to explain, just to show the people what you're gonna do, and then go right into the exercise. Go. Hi, I am Pame. Well, Pame is but they call me Pame, and I am from Monterey, Mexico. I'm Brianna. I'm from New Jersey. Okay, great. Okay, awesome, you guys. Okay, so what you just saw them do is they, they introduce themselves, and then they go right into looking at each other. You're going to do that for a lot longer than what they just did. You're going to do that. <laughs> For, and, and sometimes you guys emotions come up sometimes people cry during this sometimes people laugh you want to if you if you have emotions come up let them come up and stay stay with each other and if you guys start to feeling like emotional like you want to cry allow yourself to do it allow yourself to do it okay all right so we're going to put you into uh breakout rooms for with them um... no video yeah just put three just recreate them. If you're in a room with somebody that's not, if you're in like a room with people who have two black, two screens that are nothing, then ask for help and I'll, I'll come in and I'll move you to another room. You're going to do this for two minutes. This is gonna feel for like forever, but do not start talking to each other. Do not come in here and tell me, oh, we started talking about our life. It's not the exercise. Two minutes. All right, here we go. All right, you guys, so um, for those of you that are on. What's 
And I think they are coming back. Close all room. Oh, oh, that's so weird. Okay, close the rooms. All right, we back. Hold on. All right. Okay, go ahead. Ask to unmute. Alexa? Alexa. Oh, hi. This is hi. Your first time. Um, I kind of like the experience. It was me and two other ladies, but I was making contact, I think, with this girl named Ann. And it was funny because every time we looked at each other, we'll get serious, then we'll start laughing, then we'll take a break from laughing, then we'll smile, then we'll start laughing again. I felt like if I knew her, if I had a connection with her, which is kind of nice, and yeah. It's so great. Yeah, you get really connected with people very fast doing this. Yes. Awesome. Thank you, Alexa. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Leah, you got in? Yes. Yes, I got in. <laughs> Wow. I tried. I have like three computers here on my desk. <laughs> Just so you guys know, I had an, I had an am amazing class with um, a few girls that I know in here. There's like there was like 12, 10, 10, 12 of us. And they were on tick, they were on Zoom after the class and because it's supposed to be like a three hour class and I went to like five <laughs> hours. But after the class ended, they stayed on the class for another 10 hours. It was, yeah. So they were, did you guys end up sleeping on Zoom? Um, I, I did sleep over with Cassidy and Becca, but... <laughs> Zoom sleepover. A Zoom sleepover. We do that every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I come over so once in a while and I see this. No, but sometimes they forget to mute them, themselves, so I'm just kick them off. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, I love so, it. In the exercise, I met Imena for my first class. Oh, the first girl I've ever met in your class, my first class, half a year ago, Imena. No way. Just, yes, and we were together. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. I love it. How, how are you? Are you getting better at these? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did more than 10 seconds. I did like 30. <laughs> Okay, good. All right, great. That's All right, awesome. I'm gonna lower your hand and you can mute yourself. Okay. All Bye. right. Uh, bye. Uh, Jimena! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Hello! Hello! Okay, I was with Leah also, and I'm, yeah, I'm the girl who she first met, so. That's it's so actually funny. really, it's it's nice to see you again. It's it's really nice. It's really great to see you too. I'm yeah. glad you're in here. Glad and I had here. another girl. I, Oh gosh, I forgot me. I think it's an Adele. And so, yeah, I stared. You do, you, how do you feel like doing it now versus when you did it the very, very first time? Um, more relaxed. Definitely more improvement than the first time because I laughed easily. This time I actually held it in. So I'm actually pretty proud of my improvement. Good. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love it. Okay, great. Oh, you have to meet yourself. I just accidentally did that. Okay, um, one more. Okay, one more. Anai Gonzalez. Anai Gonzalez. Hi, um, my name is Anai. Anai. I'm really excited. So, in the breakout room, sorry if there's like background noise, I'm in my living room. Um, so I was with this girl, her name was Lily. She had the prettiest blue eyes I had ever seen. <laughs> Oh, that's so nice. And she was blonde. She was from the US, I think. I don't remember. And I started laughing, but I contained myself and I'm proud of that. <laughs> Good. Because, because usually I'll start laughing out of nowhere, but I contain myself and I'm proud. Yeah, it's not, a, it's not about like you can't laugh, right? You can laugh. It's just you want to see where the laughter is coming from. Is it coming from a place of like anxiety because you were nervous, or is it coming from a place of inspiration? Most of the time, the laughter comes from uh, like being nervous. Yes, it did because my legs were shaking in my hand. I was like, this is a little bit awkward, but <laughs> I can say myself, and I'm proud. Good. Yeah, because we have to be able to connect with somebody else when we're acting. We have to. Good job. 
All right. Um. Okay, so now we're gonna go into scene work. You guys ready? Yes. Oh, that's right. I have one requirement. If you guys want to do scene work, you have to have your video on. Now you don't ever, ha in the breakout rooms, in the breakout rooms. If you don't want to have your video on, that's fine. I, 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 you know, I'm not, I'm not going to not respect that. However, if you want to do scene work, you have to have your video on because it's not fair for your scene partner to be staring at nothing or be staring at a name, right? So we're going to have you in rooms of more than, um, more than two, like three people in a room or four, maybe four people in a room, four people in a room, just in case there's people without the videos on. Here's the thing, when you guys go into the rooms, this is your chance to act because I'm not gonna be working with all of you. I'll probably be working with a couple of you because of how I work. Some One person I might take 20 minutes with, another person I might take five minutes with, another person I might take 15 minutes with, and another person I take three minutes with. It just depends on where you're at, what I see, you know, so there's no like set time with how I'm working. So I might get to 10 of you, I might get to five of you, and I might get to three of you. I don't know what's gonna happen. All I know is this is your chance to work right now. So if you are in, like, let's say there's more than two of you that are in this class, you guys can work with each other. You don't have to work on uh, in a Zoom, whatever you guys wanna do. Also, you guys wanna take turns. So let's say you have the script and you wanna work on the first character. And the other person also wants to work on the first character. That's fine, just switch. Let's say you're in a room with someone that wants to do the monologue, but you don't wanna do the monologue, you wanna do, or want to do a monologue, you wanna do the script. That's fine, do the script first and then switch and let them do the monologue. And keep going, don't stop. So if you all, you wanna make sure everybody gets to go, and then once everybody gets to go, then repeat. And just keep re repeating, repeating until the time's up. Uh, Bohemi, you have a question? Unmute. Can you unmute? Um, I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh, it's Boam. Boam. I'm so sorry. Uh, and I didn't quite catch uh, how long we had to do. Uh, how how long? Oh yeah, because yeah. You guys get like. What's it, what's it? Yeah, that's right. You guys get 10 minutes to work with each other, and then we're gonna do it a second time, so you get another 10. So you guys get a total of 20 minutes of working on the scenes and working on the stuff. And if like, let's say you're with a room with a few people and you wanna switch and just, you don't wanna work with the same person, it's fine, just, just, just keep going. Okay, great. So just, I'm gonna just take a few more questions. Um, Amber Sanders. Hi. Um, Hi. I just, I'm so excited to be here. Um, <laughs> You're here. I um, uh, wanted to ask, like with the monologues, that's the ones that we prepared ourselves, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And then the scene work is the script that you gave us in the email, isn't yeah. it? Yes. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to stop with you. Yeah, 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 great. I'm glad you did. Yeah, make sure everybody has the scene in front of them because you don't know who you're going to be working with. So you yeah. have to make sure that if you're doing the monologue, you want to be, you know, just, um, what is that called? When you're like, you know, supportive to the other person. <clears throat> so they don't act as like, so, so I don't really want anyone to be like, you get in the scene, well, I don't have the script. Yes, you do, because I emailed it to you guys. So yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. for answering me. Yeah, thank You're you. <laughs> okay. Um, who else? Let's see. Uh, Jalisha Joby? Yes, I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy to be here. I know, right? Okay, so well, I want to ask you one doubt. Uh, so when it comes to monologue, I didn't prepare. It's my first time here. I'm a, I have never been in your classes. I have seen your TikToks. That's how I love you. I love you. I, when I knew you. that you were an actress. I was like, ah, lucky to be in the Hollywood actress. And I'm an Indian. Oh, yeah. I'm an Indian. Freaking Indian. And I'm with the Hollywood actress. And my brother is beside. He was just shooting me, uh, like, with you. So he was also happy. Because uh -huh. it's a big chance for me. I love it. I'm so glad that you're here. Where are you from originally? Are you, where, where do you live? Where do you live? 
Oh, sorry, you muted yourself, and now you got it. Yeah, where do you live? Uh, I am living in the southern side of India, uh, no, 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 Kerala. But then right now I'm in UAE. UAE. But you were originally from uh, from in Kerala. That's so great. Um, when I was a kid, I grew up watching Bollywood. Like my favorite, my favorite actress at the time when I was a kid was like her name was like Pretty something. Pretty something. I don't know. Prina 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 was like my favorite movie. Priyanka, you mean? Priyanka yes, Chopra? yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 not Priyanka. The something else. An old actress. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah. I'm so glad that you're here. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy to be being, being with you. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, it's so great. Okay, I'm gonna put your hand down. Um, are we good, or should we take a few questions? Okay, if you guys have dying questions, write them in the comments. And then the people that have done this before, can you answer the questions? Because I don't have time. I, I, we don't have time to get to everybody's questions. So just make sure you answer questions. Wait, what is this? <clears throat> huh? Rooms of four. Rooms of four. Okay. So we are going to open up the scenes. Rooms. Okay, for those of you that are brand new, don't know how what a scene is, you get the scene. And the other person has a scene, and it will be like this. <clears throat> you do Luca. Come with me. What? No, where? Okay, so see. I can't be for a while. See, so come with me. Actually, let's just do an example. Um, yeah, let's do an example, so that way people actually see what's going to happen. Yes, you can just watch. You do not have to participate, you guys. You can just you can be here just to watch. Okay, so um, somebody that I know. Okay, uh, uh, Amali, can you unmute yourself? Yeah, what? I didn't hear what you said. I need you to just do the scene really fast with... Um... Oh, I didn't really prepare it though, but I, yeah. Well, Nora, you've done this before. Yeah, yeah, I have. <laughs> okay, good. Nora? I like to sleep on the Zoom last night. <laughs> I love it. I know, I know, it was hilarious. Um, Okay, great. So, Nora and uh, Amelie, just do the scene really quick. Wait, where is Nora? Um... You gotta find her. Nora. <laughs> I know, it's kind of crazy, We hang on. Wait, Nora, can you say something? Hello. Okay, I found her. Good, all right, pin each other, and um, this is just an example, I'm not gonna give any feedback. So just uh, an example. You, let this be the time for you guys to practice, you know, and um, take your time, breathe, and then when you're, when you guys are ready. Wait, who are you playing? Wait, I can be Sophie. Okay, then I can be Lucas. Okay, everybody be on speaker view. Come with me. What? No. Where? I'm going camping for a while. <laughs> I'm getting married in 10 days. Oh yeah, <laughs> we definitely wouldn't be back by then. Guess you'd have to call the whole thing off then. That's not funny, Lucas. I can't go with you. Of course you can, but you don't want. But you don't want to, right? I guess that's what I came to hear. Part of me really does, but I won't. What happened to the live free, um, follow your dreams kind of girl? Gavin is the only family I have, and maybe, maybe I just need someone to take care of me. Well, you tell me it's okay to be weak. It's also contagious. I can't do it all the time. I don't even care if my life is less beautiful. Okay, great. Okay, great. So do you guys see what they did? Now, if you wanted to do a monologue, then what if Nora, let's say Nora wanted to do a monologue, then she said, okay, now um, I'm gonna do a monologue. And then Nora would proceed to do her monologue. You want to use the people that you're talking to in the monologue. You wanna talk to them, okay? And I don't care about the words. If you guys mess up the words, mess them up. I would rather you be in the scene and make up the whole thing than to try to get the words right, because that's not acting. Acting is being in the moment. And we'll go more into that when we when we come back for for, uh, for uh, feedback. All right, thank you guys for being amazing examples. Okay, 
We're gonna put you guys into the rooms, and this is gonna be a ten minute. Um, ten minutes. Oh, we just. What? Yeah, four is fine. Four is fine. So just make sure you guys are are letting everybody go. Do you get that? Everybody gets to go, except if they don't have the video on, they're there to watch. Does everyone get that? People who have no videos on are there to watch. Everyone else gets a chance to go and only repeat until everybody gets and just keep repeating. If you have any issues, call me into the room. Do not come back in the breakout room. There's nothing I can do once you come back into the breakout room. Okay, okay. here we go. Press yeah. join. Um, I know. I know I'm supposed to be going to my breakout room, but I had a question. Yeah. Do we have to like before we start our scene? Do we have to answer these questions like what, what, um, who am I, where am I before like, we jump into the scene? Or well, we you were you're supposed to do that um before, before the, the class. class. If you haven't done oh. it, don't worry about it. Yeah. Okay. Worry about it. It's fine. All right. Okay, you're join. welcome. Madison, are you there? Madison, Madison, if you're if you don't um, answer in 30 seconds, I'm gonna boot you because you're, this this uh, this user is taking a spot from someone. So I just want to make sure there's a human being. If there is, okay, I'm putting my video on. If there is a human being on the other side of that call and it's not just like an extra thing, I'm gonna give you like 20 seconds to unmute yourself. And if you don't, I'm gonna boot you so it gives you someone else's spot. Madison, 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 Madison yeah. Zimmer, are you there? Are you there? Okay, you get 20 more seconds to answer. If not, we are removing you from the Zoom. So everybody in here, be practicing, be working with each other. Okay, Madison, you get nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, you're up. Okay, hey, Letizia. We're gonna having a few people come in. Hey, you guys, we're doing scene work right now. So we're just gonna move you guys to some rooms, okay? All right. There's five people in that room, we can't make, we have to make sure that it does not get more than four people. Well, that's what we're just gonna have to do, we'll just have to do three people. Cause it's just too much to do in seven minutes. It's not enough time. So we'll give 12 minutes next time. Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna let you guys chill. I'm gonna go get some, um, some something to eat because I'm really hungry. So are we gonna, we'll just leave this on, right? I'm just gonna leave this on. You guys be practicing. I know some people in here are, are have a Zoom going on also and working with each other. So make sure you guys um, work with each other on Zoom in here. I'm going to go get something to eat. I'll be back. All right, we're back. All right, so I want to hear from a few people. How'd that go? Molly? Molly Ginn? Glenn? Glenn? Uh, I'm you. Molly? Asked to unmute. Molly? Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm so excited you're here. How was it? It was really good. I was with uh, two very talented young girls. We did uh, the scene a few times and then I did my monologue and Aoife did her monologue as well. Okay, great. And um, what was it? Is this, a, is this the first time you've been doing something like this? Have you done it before? I've done it before. I've done it with a few different, because I go to a performing arts school as well. So we do this all the time. But it's good to do it with people of different ages and like different locations as well. Yeah. I mean, I think it is important to switch it up because we get comfortable, like especially wearing like classrooms and stuff, we get comfortable with the same people. So it's good to switch it up. Yeah. It's so great that you're here, especially since you're studying actress. It's great. Yeah. Awesome. So glad. Okay, I'm just gonna mute you and lower your hand. Um, and everyone else, if I don't get to you to raise your hand, write in the comments, like, how was that for you, okay? Um, Avanti? Hi! Hi, what's up? 
I really liked, we all did the scene multiple times. We gave each other feedback and we did it like the second time around. We all improved. We, d we used the feedback that we gave to each other and it was a really fun experience. That is so great. You know, I actually really love that you guys, you guys give each other feedback. So yeah, for this next one, you guys, when everyone goes, give each other feedback and go again. That's such a great idea. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Um, Lily, Lily Maletta. Oops, I just accidentally muted you. I'm sorry. Do it again. Um, I was with two girls and a boy and everyone did really, really good. We all went with each other and we all went once and I thought everyone did really nice to meet new people. Oh, oh, so you guys didn't have a chance to go again? No, we didn't, but. How many people were in your room? Four. Four, okay, so it's a little too. If we do four people, we gotta go for like 13 minutes. Maybe next time we'll go for like 15 minutes so we get everybody a chance. Okay, good, good. And, and, and you liked it? Is this your, is it how, where are you in the acting world? Like, are you new or what? Um, I, I'm new, yes. I've done one of your classes before, so. Well, that's right, that's cool. right. I was gonna and then I'm signed up for next weekend too. Okay, great, so you're actually in a, where you're in a smaller class with me. For yeah, a, well, a, I think, yeah. Okay, great, awesome. So I'm gonna um, lower your hand. Uh, Nadelle Delia. <laughs> That's just my middle name. That's okay. Hi. Yeah. Um, so we also had four people in our group, so we only had a really chance to, like, do it, like, the scene once. But it was really cool, because even though there were some, like, slight technical difficulties with getting, like, the script out, the way we read it with each other, and just, like, we went back to it, and we were, like, just changing the inflection on, like, certain words literally can change the whole scene into a new course in the way someone's done it before. And just, like, finding those new patterns and those, like, new, like, back and forths can, like, really create a scene. That's what we kind of talked about. I really love what she's saying because she's really, like, telling you to, like, listen and respond, right? It's really about listening and responding. It's not, it's not about well, what am I doing. It's always about the other person. Always. Don't be selfish actors, right? What's the other person doing? I love your energy. It's so great. You have, like, this whoosh. Like, you get on camera and you're like, whoosh. I love it. Okay, great. All right, so perfect. Next time we'll make it longer. Um, all right, uh, let me, one more person. Ella Goodina. That's a real, is that really your name? I'm asking you to unmute. Hi. Hi. Is oh, that, yeah, that is that, that your full, is that your name, Ella Goodina? Yeah, Goodina's my last name. That is so cool. <laughs> Thank you. I'm from a, a last name. This is good enough. I have something in my tooth. Marshall says I have something in my tooth. <laughs> okay, how was it? Um, it was quite good. It was all girls, and I got to do the scene twice, which I played both characters. And um, there was one girl that was basically saying like, um. Like if we did good or bad, and like giving us um, feedback. So yeah, it was really good. So great, I love it. I love it. Okay, awesome. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna lower all the hands, and I'm gonna ask who had an issue in the room. I only want to hear from people, uh, like one or two people, who had an issue in the room, so that way we. Made me accidentally raise my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> hi. <laughs> hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> that's so great. Okay. I'm glad you didn't have an issue. All right, so that's good. Um oops, sorry. Um Isla Obara. 
Is a oh my god, I, I can't say these names. I'm so sorry. Isla Isa. Uh, uh hi, uh, so we didn't have like an issue like uh but I couldn't get like the script, I didn't find it, but um uh Nato like she emailed it, it to me and then we could do the scene so Oh okay, good. Uh, so for some reason your your script wasn't working. Yeah, well, she sent it to me and we do it right. So, okay, yeah. good, good. I'm glad you guys worked that out. Good, good, awesome, good. Um, all right, now um, let's do Lucy Power. Hi. Oh! <laughs> Hi. Um, so it wasn't really a major issue, but there, um, some people were just not doing anything. Like they had their cameras on. And they were just not. <laughs> just oh, so they were just not talking. Just not doing anything. And they were like laugh. I mean, it, we all were laughing because it was, you know, Awkward. excitement. Yeah. But uh, three of us, there was four, three girls and one boy. Uh -huh. And they were so sweet. Aww. But they just was so, I guess, anxious. And yeah. we were just trying to give them as much advice, but they just wasn't for like okay. producing words so okay, well, i'm glad you're you know you handled it with kindness right? <laughs> yes. and you guys it's normal to be uncomfortable it's normal to do that but did you get to work um some sort of work we got for it once uh with each person so it was like me and this other girl and then it was this girl and another person and then we all kind of switched okay okay good so as long as you get to you get to work. If something like that happens, I know it's gonna happen. But if, if it's like if it's like you're in a room and the other person's not working, just call me in and I'll either like coach you or we'll get you in another room. So if something like that happens, yeah. I love your videos. <laughs> oh, thank you. I've been wanting to get into a class for so long, but I'm broke, so Well, you're here. Yeah, so I'm gonna ask my parents soon. So yeah, ask them, ask them to come in one of my classes. You know, come like, can I have money, please? <laughs> yeah, and, you know, Bri Brianna asked, asked her dad. She asked her dad for like, what is it, a Christmas present? Christmas present to get in one of my classes. Yeah, definitely try to get into one of my classes and get like, even if you go into the big one, get the feedback ticket so I can actually, you know, if I don't get a chance to work with you today, I get a chance to work with you at some point. It was a private class, Eliana. Oh, that's right. That's right. But you've been, but you've been, you, 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 weren't you broke too when you found the money to get into one of my... I made my mom grab the $200 I got from my birthday and oh. I spent it all on you. Oh, oh my God. God. Well, don't do that, but one of my classes. <laughs> Unless you're Brianna, then you can do it all the time. All right? Because I, I have a different relationship. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, Alexa Hart Ant. <laughs> um, one of the issues that we had was that everyone tried to write a script, um, tried to say the script. Oh my god, my words are so much stuff. But um, some of them didn't have the full script, like some of their lines were missing. So some of us had to corroborate, or like it'll be both of them working on the script together. Yeah. Oh god, so some people didn't get the full script. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you guys, if that happens, just work it out with each other. Send it to each other by email. You know, just work it out. I'll give you a few extra minutes this time to do it. Okay, great. Okay, good. All right, so you know everything can be worked out, right? All right, we're gonna lower all the hands and we're gonna go back into this. I'm gonna give you guys um, 15 minutes uh, to do this. <clears throat> um, just so you, you know we're in a bigger room. So you guys just recreate the room. Just make sure there's not more than five people in the room. Okay, good. Okay, guys, we're gonna go back into here and um, uh, yeah, we're gonna go back in 15 minutes. If you have any issues, call me in and go. Accept. All right, we coming back. Hold on, I'm just gonna wait till everyone's back in. To Okay, so just someone can Maria Pazzini. Maria Pazzini? Oh my god, hi, are you guys hearing me? Hi! Hi! <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy to be meeting you guys. You're such an inspiration for me. Oh, uh, I'm 
Okay, so. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so um, we did uh the scene two times, like with um, two, like we have four people, so like we did the scene two times, yeah. and then um, we each did our monologue and um feedbacks too. It was really good. Um, and then like there was like three mean three minutes to spare, and then like we we get we got to know each other and like the dreams we want to like with where we want to go with acting. And it was like really good, you know, because like we exchanged and we like, yeah, like I hope one day we'll get there. And it was really good. It was really good. I really liked it. God, I'm so glad. I'm glad that you got to work. So, so 15 minutes was a good amount of time to work. Okay. Yeah, yeah, really good. Okay, good. Thank you. Bye. Okay. Yeah, if you guys want to also use the comments to share how it went for you, use the comments too. Because like obviously can't get to everyone. Okay. We have it. two girls read the monologue so that was like fun thing and they give me some tips how to like not like sound naturally more so good yeah. okay great so you you learned a lot working with them yeah okay good great 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 awesome 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 awesome, awesome. uh one more person adriana germosa if, I, if you're Hi. saying these names right, I give you gold star. Hello. Hi! Wait, hold on, let me find her. There she is. Um, so I worked with three people. They're, they were all girls. And we were, like, at a different age group, so it was, like, nice working with them. And we did, like, the scene once, each of us. And then we started answering the questions about the characters. Okay, good. And then we went over it again. Okay, good. Yeah, somebody asked me if you needed to do that. You didn't need to inside the group, but I'm glad you did. If that's something that you guys felt like you should have done, that's good. Great, awesome, awesome. Okay, you guys, so now we're gonna go into scene work with me. So uh, here's the things you guys wanna know. I work on you. I don't work on acting because in life you could, you could really, you know, be with any acting. Um, you can learn acting from anyone, but it's really, it really takes a few people to really get you to learn about yourself. So I really look about you and your life because if you become really great people in your life and really understand yourself, you will be great actors. And as you can ask my st the students that I have and the people that I, I coach, we don't talk about acting. And because we, and, and these people who would push and who weren't natural, all of a sudden, when we start talking about their life, they become natural and they become really good at acting. And we, we don't ever talk about acting. So, so some of you, I might talk about acting with, and some of you, I might talk about life with. Now I'm telling you one more time, if you raise your hand, you're volunteering to be on my YouTube channel because I'm filming this whole thing, okay? If you're on video, you're volunteering your face to be maybe be seen, okay? So if you guys do not want to be on YouTube, do not ask me to coach you, okay? That's an agreement. If you are, if you have your video on and you're asking me to coach you, you are gonna go on my YouTube. So that's an agreement that you guys get that that's gonna happen, right? Okay. okay everyone stop raising your hands because you don't even know what you're raising oh, yeah, your hands yeah, for. Yeah, 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 stop raising your hands for now. Stop raising your hands. Everyone lower your hands. Don't don't lower raise your hands, hands right now. Okay. What else do I have to say before we start? Okay, whatever. Okay, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay, so we'll we'll first start with a monologue. So if you want to do a monologue, raise your hand. This is going to be about who clicks, who who stomps the buzzer first, you guys. I mean, that's just how it is. It's just the only way I could do this fairly. Um, okay. All right, Marsh. 
We're just gonna go from the top, yeah. Okay. All right, Molly. Molly Glenn. Hello. Hi. Hello again. So a bit of background for this character because it's quite complex. Okay. Um, it's an assassin uh, and she's in an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting to try and become friends with the sister of the man she wants to kill next. Mm -hmm. um, so from the viewer's perspective, it could be that she's just acting, saying these things to try and trick these people into being friends with her, or it could be her real truth and okay. like getting off her chest. I also apologize for my American accent. It's not the best. No, it's okay. And look, like when I, when I start coaching, I like to say that you are that person instead of saying she is somebody outside of yourself. So it's the first thing I'm going to, and I want everyone to get this and I'm glad she's doing it. You'll hear her say, oh, she, as in like the character that's over there, but she is that character. So instead of saying she, just say, I, just for the purposes, you know, just try it on for this class. I know you have other ways to you get coached but just for this class just say i when you're talking referring to yourself and um what i like to do is have you actually being able to talk to somebody so is there anybody in here you really connected with that you can that you could pin yeah um let me where is carly where is she carly yeah just look for her uh let me see if I can find her. Oh, there she's Coralie Hunt. Yeah, there she is. Okay. Just Hi. Keep, keep, yourself, keep yourself off of mute because I like to um, occasionally have you guys improv. And um, everybody else, turn off your video. And if some people's video stays on, it's fine. Coralie, can you just say a few words? So I can get yeah. you. Yeah. Okay, great. Now I see you. <laughs> Great, great. Okay, so everybody go off video and everybody pin Molly. Everybody pin Molly. So if you're on a if you're on a phone, just double tap. And if you're on a computer, you just click the pin. Okay, take your uh, take your time, Molly, and when you're ready. I have real trouble telling the truth. I don't understand the concept actually, but somebody told me it was important. So here goes. Most of the time, most days, I feel nothing. I don't feel anything. It is so boring. I wake up and I think again, really? I have to do this again? And what I really don't understand is how come everybody else isn't screaming with, with boredom too and try to find ways of making myself feel something. More and more and more, but it doesn't make any difference. No matter what I do, I don't feel anything. I, I hurt myself, it doesn't hurt. I buy what I want, I don't want it. I do what I like, I don't. I don't like it. I'm just so bored. Okay, great. Okay, great. So, so how does this relate to you? Um, I mean, all of lockdown, I've felt nothing. And I currently live alone as a student and we're back in lockdown where there's nothing to do. I buy things and they don't make me any less bored and lonely and I get the thing of how she's hidden this for so long to try and seem like this strong independent woman but actually this is exactly how she feels and she's only just got the chance to say it okay and when in your life do you feel like like do you feel the most like you don't feel anything and like let's go further back than quarantine Uh, have you ever felt like you can't feel anything or has any some, something traumatic happened that you were like oh i'm gonna shut down absolutely it's very um, deep but if yeah. you want to share you can and if not it's fine too i respect it 
I just uh, know how how deep you want to go. I mean, there's very young people on here, so I won't go that deep. Okay. Um, there's just been a lot of ups and downs in my life. Mm -hmm. um, lots of mental health struggles. Um, I think the, when I most felt like this was when my parents split up okay. because it was in the middle of my exam season, which was great. Um, yeah, I'd say then because I had nothing to do but study when actually I should have been feeling these feelings, but I refused to do so. Okay, can you, do you, do you remember the moment that um, you created turmoil for yourself when that was happening? Do you remember the moment? You said like, like in life, in life there's, some, there's something we do, there's something happens and then we, we say something about ourselves. It's not very nice when that, when that thing happens. And there's a very specific moment in time we do it. What, the first time I ever did that? Or the, in that situation? In that situation, let's just use that situation because that situation we can, uh, unless there's another situation that you're like, okay, well, I can talk about it. But we can just use this situation because that's, I mean, everybody relates. I mean, a lot of people relate to that situation. So there's something, it was, was, do you remember a very specific moment in time where during the situation, something happened? I don't know, maybe your parents were yelling, maybe some something, <laughs> like a very turmoil situation that you, yeah, not for that specific situation, but when I was much younger, I was a gymnast and I heard elder, older girls than me, I must have been about 11, in the changing rooms talking about how much they hate their arms and their legs. And it that moment struck me that, oh, I should care about how I look. Oh, interesting. Okay, and if you, if you said, if you said, I should care about how I look. What else did you, what what did you say that means about yourself? It just instantly sparked this next level of uh, kind of control in my head that was like, I need to stop doing certain things. I need to start doing other things, and it just changed the way I functioned as a human being. Yeah, because you said you I actually want you to consider in that moment when you said I should actually care about how I look. What really did you say to, about yourself that you should care about what you look, what you look like? I know that's a I know it's like a trick. It's not a trick question, but it's like a weird question. You said something about yourself. You said I should care about how I look because you are there's something you said. Because I didn't look like the older girls. Okay, there you go. Like, I don't look like anybody else. I am, what else did you say about yourself? Uh, I mean, it was weird because I was comparing myself to girls who were 18 and I was yeah. 11. Yeah, but as an 11 year old, you don't know, you don't, you exactly. can't differentiate it, right? Exactly. Like things get collapsed as an 11 year old. Exactly, so I was like, why are my arms so short? Okay. It would be easier yeah. my arms were longer and my legs were longer and right. my frame was, slimmer yeah like i'm not i'm not like the others right and exactly. if you're not if you're not like the others what does that mean you're just okay, you're different and what does different mean to an 11 year old to you wrong wrong yeah like i'm wrong see in life exactly. like events happen and it, there, there, there's, a, there's events right there's nothing we can do about the past things happen they're facts like like things just happen. But then as people, we actually decide what those events mean. We, we, we don't, it's like we add our own story to, to what, the, what the event was, because what really happened? If I was a fly on the wall, right? And I don't have, I don't have meaning. I don't have evaluation. I don't have language. What actually happened in that moment? All I could be is a fly on the wall. What would I see? Just a young girl looking at three or four teenagers and just the face instantly dropping. Okay, yeah, but what is, but a fly doesn't understand dropping, right? 
yeah. So you're just looking at girls and the girls yeah. are just, the girls have garb, garble coming out of the mouth, right? Because yeah. a fly doesn't understand language. It just, a fly just hears things and sees mm -hmm. things. And it, it flies looking at you and it sees what? A girl. A girl looking, eyeballs looking at other girls. Yeah, so what actually happened? Say it one more time, you're doing great. Just a young girl going and looking at some other girls talking. Yeah. That's it. And that's it. And what did you say about that moment? What is the evaluation you said about yourself in that moment? Oh, it just changed the way I functioned as a human. Yeah, and you said that you are what? You said it before. I'm just wanting you wrong. Yeah, but who said that I am wrong? Me. Yeah, did anybody else say you're wrong? No. No, you did it. What actually happened? Just listen to some girls talk. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Do you see what we do to ourselves and then we collapse them? And then we live like what we made up was real? Because I hate to break it to you, but I am wrong doesn't exist in reality. Go to the store, buy me a box of I am wrong. Does it exist? Yeah, exactly. It's ridiculous. It doesn't exist. So you've been living like you've been wrong. How old are you now? 20. I'm 20. So you've been living what? How many years like that, right? That I'm wrong. I can guarantee you that that say, that saying that you said to yourself has been with you and you've been living it out like it's real. So how do you think it's impacted you? Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's just changed the way I act, changed the way I communicate and changed the way I just... Yeah, yeah, how? Like, how does your relationships look like? Because you said, I am wrong. What is your relationship with They're very limited, so I, I would refuse to fully open myself up to people. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Do you get what we do to ourselves based on something that's not even real? And it's so brilliant what you're doing right now because you're actually getting responsible for what your life looks like, right? Yeah. And you actually said at eight, I'm wrong. And then you actually had it like it's real, so that impacted your relationships. You see, it's nothing to do with the relationships, it's to do with what you said. Okay, and now we're gonna now we're gonna we're gonna push this into the into the scene. And that's what you've been it's what you've been doing. So see how you're acting and you're responding just like this? That's all you need. You don't need to feel anything, you don't need to do anything. Just use what you have right now. Like how you're just talking to me. Just just talk to to Coralie. With using those words, but with what you're feeling right now. Don't add anything. Don't subtract anything. As me or as the character? As we're doing it as you, because you are the character. But you. I want you to use what you have. I don't get it. Like you see how you're feeling right now? Just say the first line. What's the first line? Oh, I have real trouble telling the truth. Yeah, don't you have real trouble telling the truth with people? Yeah. Yeah, you do. So what's the trouble you have with people? What's the worst trouble you have with people? Just say the first line. What's the worst trouble you have with people? You have trouble what? Telling the truth. Do you see how real that was? Yeah. You see we just did? It was so natural. Okay, what's the next line? I don't understand the concept, actually. But somebody told me it was important. So. Okay, okay. Is, is this the monologue? Yeah. You realize I don't know that you're... I, I actually, when you just said that, I don't understand the concept. I actually thought you were asking me if you don't understand the concept. It's so natural now. So what happened? What happened? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what I happened? Nothing. We just spoke about your life. Yeah. Okay, yeah, keep going. What's the next line? But somebody told me it was important, so here Who it goes. Who told you it was important? Who told you it was important? Somebody. Okay. So here it goes. Most of the time, 
most days I feel nothing. I don't feel anything. It is so boring. Yeah, isn't it boring? You don't feel anything? It's boring, isn't it? It's so boring. Yeah, there you go. I wake up and I think, again? Really? I have to do this again. So wait, what do you, you wake up and you think what? Again? Why do you think again? Because it's so boring. And what I really don't understand is how come everyone else isn't screaming with with boredom too and isn't that crazy that you know you're not the only one but everyone else is acting like everything's fine i mean you know what that's like it's it's insane it's insane <laughs> it's really insane it's funny yeah okay and I try to find ways of making myself feel something more and more and more, but. Okay, what do you mean? What do you mean you try to find ways to make yourself feel something? Like, how do you find ways to make yourself feel something? Anything. I buy things, do things, see people, talk to people nothing it doesn't make any difference no matter what I do I don't feel anything I hurt myself it doesn't hurt I buy what I want I don't want it I do what I like I don't I don't like it I'm just so bored Okay, great. <laughs> that was great. Thank How do you feel? So. It's di it's so different. It it's from different. such a different angle. It's very different. I mean, because look, you're actually being natural. The first one was very theatrical. The first one, I didn't believe at all. But I mean, I know in school you're. I I don't know if you're doing on camera work. You know, I know in school you you learn in a room. So it's like it's it's very different to be on camera and working. So obviously what you did before works for works for theater. But I also I also also can tell you weren't fully connected in the first one. How would I connect it but then also do the required accent? Oh, um you know it's so funny I didn't even pay attention to your accent. It's required <laughs> to for you to be and do an American accent? Yeah, because the, it's the character me doing, pretending to be someone else. Oh, well, if you're pretending, then who cares if the American accent's bad? If you're pretending. Maybe you're like really, maybe you're, maybe, it's actually more interesting if, if you're like this assassin or whatever. That's actually a really bad assassin. You're not like not really good at your job. At least that's what you think, right? And that's what makes it interesting. Because right? no one else knows. There, see, there's no difference when you put on an accent to how you're feeling. You feel it or you don't feel it, right? And do you feel, did you feel the difference here? Yeah, absolutely. You, you became, like, what changed for you? The, the actual emotion behind it was more painful than angry. Yeah, you weren't playing it. You were just being that. You just had it because you got presents back to a while ago and it's not using memories to get you there. It's just trying to see what stopped you from being here. Because whatever what's, whatever stopped you when you were eight stops you from being able to be a connected actor. Because I'm wrong is just gonna be there. Even if you don't see it, I'm wrong is always there. And I gotta hate to break it to you, I am wrong is always gonna be a conversation in your head. But now you actually get to say, oh, I was eight when I made that up. Am I, is it actually happening right now? No. Okay, well, I don't need to keep that in my, I don't need to, I mean, I, it's okay, I'm thinking it, it's a thought. You all have weird thoughts all the day long, don't we? 
weird thoughts. So why do you believe the thought that says I'm wrong when you just had the thought about an elephant slamming through the door? But that's not real. So then why is the thought I'm wrong real? Doesn't make sense, right? If you actually compare it, it doesn't make sense. It's not even a reality. When somebody finds me a box of I am wrong, I will tell you I'm wrong. But until you find the box of I am wrong, you are wrong. <laughs> okay, great. You did amazing work. And I hope that you carry this with you into, um, just carry this into, with your, into your classroom, into your classrooms, because if you have that, you're, you're gonna knock them dead, even if it's for theater, even if you gotta be a little bit bigger to be connected. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. What? Oh yeah, carry it into your relationships. So now you discovered you're wrong, you're not wrong anymore, so guess what you get to have? Authentic, connected, relationship and just know anytime you want to pull away from someone it's just because you're saying I'm wrong and that's it good amazing awesome you got you guys did you see the difference everyone see the difference does everyone get what I'm saying I know it's a little like next level stuff Elaine's like head banging <laughs> <laughs> Elaine's head banging yeah okay great okay great awesome okay um yeah, so that's why I said I work in the, I work, wait, hold on, let me unpin her. I work in the, who you are as a human being. Because look, did I talk about acting with her? Did I talk about acting with her? No, I did not. But look how natural she got. You guys got to look at your life. Like when I'm asking her these questions, I actually want you to ask yourself these questions. What, what was that? What happened when I was seven? What did I say about myself? Like really ask yourself these questions as I'm asking it with someone else. What did I say about myself? Who said it? I did. How does it affect your relationships? Actually look and then clean those relationships up. We're not gonna get there today in, in class. Hey Lisa, hi. <laughs> um, we're just doing the very basics um, today. <clears throat> Linnell's in? She just said yes, so sorry. Should I go here? Should I go into no. Uh, oh, mm, okay, hang on, you guys, hang on. Marshall's gotta, Marshall's gotta do this. Okay, we're gonna lower the hands, so everybody lower your hands because you don't know what I'm gonna ask. Okay, so, so, um, okay, so now, <laughs> we're not doing a monologue again. Uh, now, well, we will, but we're gonna do a scene now. So anybody that wants to do scene work, okay, great. Kenzie, that's my sister's name. Okay, so Kenzie, unmute yourself. And then Anissa, unmute yourself. I'm gonna work with two people at a time here. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Uh, who else did I just unmute? Kenzie? Yes. You want me? Is Anissa here? I'm here. Okay. okay, great. So you two pin each other. Okay. Hold on. Everybody else go off video. Can I? Okay, I got it. Okay, everyone else turn your videos off. Everyone else, turn your video off. Turn your video off. Everybody else. At pin. Great, look, I can see both of you at the same time. This is great. Okay, so everybody else go on speaker view. All right, so who do you guys want to be? And if you guys want to be the same person, we can switch. Um, it doesn't matter. I, I have both lines. Who do you want to be? This is open. I would, um, hold on, you guys. Okay, so who are you playing? 
I'm playing Sophie. Sophie, and you'll you'll play um you'll play Lucas. And I actually like Lucas is a girl today. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are like whatever you want to make the relationship. All right. Whenever you're ready, everybody else, make sure your video's off and make sure you are on speaker view. You guys can see each other. All right. Whenever you're ready. No, where? I'm going camping for a while. I'm getting married in 10 days. Oh, yeah, we definitely wouldn't be back by then. Guess you'd have to call the whole thing off. That's not funny, Lucas. I can't go with you. Of course you can, but you don't want to, right? Guess that's what I came to hear. Part of me really does, but I won't. What happened to the live free, follow your dreams artist girl? Gavin's the only family I have, and maybe I just need someone to take care of me. You told me it was okay to be weak. It's also contagious. I can't do it all the time. I don't even care if my life is less beautiful. Okay, great. Now, you guys just look at each other. Okay, and I'm gonna ask you to make it up if you don't know the words, okay? I don't want you to look at the words. I just want you to really connect with each other. So we're gonna do it again, and Anissa or Kenzie, if you forget the words, just make it up. You know, I don't care. I don't care what the words are. I just want you to connect. What is the scene about for you both? Um, Sophie is engaged. And she also lives in... Are you, are you Sophie? Yeah. Okay, so I am engaged. I am engaged and I live in LA trying to find my dreams. Okay, good. And what is this moment about? This moment is about finding your dreams or like missing out on relationships with your friends, things to do. Like yeah, like, like like you're afraid, right? You don't want to go with Kenzie because you're afraid. But yeah. you want to go with Kenzie. So you want Kenzie to convince you to go with you. Yeah. And Kenzie, what is this about for you? In this, uh, scene, not in a whole, just like right here, right now in the present moment, what's this about? I've just showed up at Sophie's house asking her to leave Gavin alone and come with me somewhere. Yeah. Camp. Yeah, because you want what? Or you need what? I want her friendship back and I want her to come with me and... Yeah, so, so if she gives you friendship back, what do you get? I get her as a friend, I get her. And what does friendship give you? What's the experience of friendship? Gives you what? What feeling? Love and compassion. Exactly, exactly. So you both need love in this scene. But one of you is afraid to have it and the other one's not afraid to have it. Yes. And that's the conflict. Okay, great. Whenever you're ready, just don't, uh, again, don't be looking at your lines. Make it up if you have to. Come with me. What? Where? I'm going camping for a while. You know I'm getting married in 10 days. And not funny. You can come with me. But you don't want to, right? Of course I do, but I can't. What happened to the free spirited follow your dreams kind of girl? I just need someone to be there for me. You were the one that told me it's okay to be weak. It's also contagious, can't be weak all the time. Okay, see how much more connected this was because you guys weren't looking at paper? Okay, here, now we're gonna do an exercise, okay? Okay. I want everybody to get in here. This is an exercise. What we're about to do doesn't mean anything. It's not in reality, it's created. Now here, at the same time of me saying that, I want you to take on within these next few minutes, 
that everything that happens and everything you say is real. So when Kenzie says something to Anissa, Anissa, you're gonna, you, you really gotta let it in. And Anissa, anytime you say something to Kenzie, Kenzie, you really gotta let whatever she says in. We are doing an exercise, okay? Here's the exercise. In life, even if you're a nice person, you're a mean one. Because what do we do the second we see somebody? The second we see a human being, what do we do? We judge them. them. Exactly, we judge them, right? And usually the judgments are not very nice. And if they are very nice, what comes after a very nice judgment? A mean one. A mean one. Because they might be, wow, that person's really beautiful. Oh my God, I'm not as beautiful. Oh, they suck, right? <laughs> Or, 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 oh my God, that person's really weird hair or, or that person's really rude, right? Mm -hmm. We're mean, but we walk around pretending we're nice and we're judging and we're constantly judging and assessing people. This is for everyone. We all do this. You don't hide from this. You judge and assess people. And if you say you don't, you're lying to yourself, right? So this first part of the exercise is called the harsh truth. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back and forth with each other. And if you're nice, you are not doing the exercise right. Because I actually want you guys to get that you are mean to other people because you're being mean to yourself. You are mean more, you are worse to yourself than you're worse to, to anybody else. Pretending like it's about the other people, but it's not, it's about you. So Anissa, you're gonna go first, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna say you're gonna look at Kenzie. I don't want you guys fishing for fishing for mean things to say. I actually just want you to look at each other and see what's the mean what what about them do I just not like? And you're gonna say it no matter how mean it is. Do you guys get that this is an exercise? We are not being this is an exercise. Once this is over, we love each other. Got it? This is to get you present with each other and get you into reality of what you actually do to each other. This is for everyone. You better all be on your seats watching this. Get to your seats. Okay. So, Anissa, you'll say something really whatever. Whatever there is there to Kenzie. Kenzie, you'll say it to Anissa. And you guys will go back and forth until I tell you to switch. Until I, I, I We're going to do this for like five minutes or whatever. And I'm going to give you different instructions on, on what you're going to do. Okay? Through this. So the first one is you're just the hard, hard, hard truth about each other. All right. Kenzie, I don't like the backdrop that you have behind you. Okay, so now that was her being nice, so she didn't have to say something mean to you because she wants to be nice. Right, Anissa? Yeah. I know this is going to be tough because you guys are nice people. Really look at Kenzie. Look at her. It, I, and I would prefer this about like per personality, right? You can easily judge and assess somebody's personality by looking at them, making up something that's not real. Okay, so first thing about her personality, that's just go. Kenzie, you are acting really nice and I don't like it. <laughs> Anissa, you're really quiet. You can't judge the way how quiet I am, it's just how I feel. You can't judge how nice I am. That's just how you I am. You guys are being too nice. <laughs> I know you don't want to be mean. I know you don't want to be mean. We got to get over this. Kenzie, did you brush your hair this morning? I did actually. Anissa, did you brush your hair this morning or did you just put it back? My hair is naturally. Okay, here's, the thing. here's the thing. You guys don't get to respond to it and defend what the other person says. So if I said, Kenzie, you know, you seem very selfish, or you are very selfish. I don't want you to defend it. I just want to say, I just want you to have something go back to being like, well, you're stuck up, right? Like that. Okay, good. You guys are doing great. I know you're the first ones to do this, so I know it's not awkward. Okay, go. Kenzie, you are so rude. Anissa, you're really mean. I don't like your outfit. I don't like your attitude. I don't like your hair. Um, I don't like your shirt. I don't like the way you're talking to me. I don't like 
the way you're speaking to me. Your room is a mess. Uh, your curtains are crooked? Okay, okay, here we go. Much better. I mean, until we got to the end, you guys started not being nice. Okay, here, now. You are guys, you guys are gonna say the mean things to the other person that you say to yourself all the time. So if I say about myself, oh, I'm not pretty, you're gonna say, you're not pretty. And if I say about myself all the time, you're a mean person or you're a liar, you're a liar. This is what you say to yourself all the time and you're gonna say it to the other person and you other person, they are saying it about you. So let it hit you, let it affect you. Okay. You are so fat. Anissa, I don't like your smile. Henzi, you do not look in the mirror. Anissa, I really don't like your hair today. Okay, you guys are doing really good. I don't want you to say Kenzie or Anissa. Okay. Because in your head, do you say, do you say Kenzie, you do blah, 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 or you just say you're, you're stupid? It's all that comes out, right? It's all you say in your head, or that was dumb, or you're dumb. Yeah, what you actually say in your head is how you're gonna say it out loud. You're ugly. You ate too much today. You're fat. You need to stop eating those muffins. You need to stop hiding. You need to go online shopping because your style is really bad. You need to move on from the past. You need to stop asking your mom for so much money. You need to stop spending money. You need to stop thinking about them. You need to move on. You need to stop obsessing over your eyes. You need okay, to really breathe. good, really, really good, really good. And now I want you guys to turn it into your personality. Because this isn't really the mean stuff you say. The really, really, really mean stuff you say is about you. Okay, go. You need to stop looking like that. You need to stop being so mean. So you it's not even you need to stop, right? The reason why you would need to stop being mean is because you say to yourself, you are mean. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah. You say to yourself, I'm mean. So you're not, you need to stop. You just say you're mean. Yeah, keep going. You guys are doing great. You're mean to yourself. You're so rude. You care what people think. You have such a bad attitude. You need to now reflect yourself you need to stop being so rude to your brother just because he's your brother you need to stop comparing yourself you need to stop thinking of yourself as someone else okay so what would you if you if you think yourself as someone else what do you think yourself as i just think that i don't want to be me yeah there you go you don't want to be you yeah so say that you need to stop. No, no, no. You need to stop. You don't. You don't need to stop. That's not what you're saying. You're saying you don't want to be you. So that's, that's it. That's what there is to say. You don't want to be you. Say that. You don't want to be you. No. You don't want to look in the mirror. Uh, you don't. You're too hard on yourself. Okay, okay, there we go. That's a good example. You are too hard on yourself. What are you saying about yourself that's too hard on yourself? Um, whenever I get a bad grade at all, even if it doesn't bring my average down, I'm just way too hard on myself and I think I should do better. Yeah, you, so what do you say? I should do better. Yeah, you should do better. What else do you say? Why do you say you should do better? Because you think you're what? because I did really bad. Yeah, which makes you what? Dumb. Yeah, that's what you really say. You're dumb. So say that. You're dumb. You're below average. 
Okay, good. Now you guys are doing great. See how we're getting to the the real truth about what's happening with yourself, not the surface truth. This is what you do to yourself. It's so mean. Okay, now you guys are gonna tell the beautiful truth about the other person to each other. All the beautiful things back and forth about each other. Go. You are really nice. You are really pretty. You have a nice smile. You have really pretty eyes. You are kind. You are a really beautiful and nice person. Say nice things. I really like your voice. I really like your hair. I really like your sense of style. I really like how you talk. I really like your attitude towards people. I really like your positive energy. I really like your smile. Okay, great. Now, this is beautiful. Doesn't this feel good to create the, the good things? Yeah, it feels so good to create the good things. And it's actually easier to create the good things, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's good to do this to like feel the bad, even though the bad things are automatic, it's so much harder to think about the bad things. Okay, good. So now, I mean, it's the first thing you think of, but it's hard. So now you want to say to the other person what you always wish somebody would say to you. So if you always wish someone would say, you're amazing, say you're amazing. It's whatever you wish people would tell you. Okay, you are worth it. You are good enough. You are beautiful. Your grades don't matter as much as your mental health. You are talented. You deserve to be happy. You need to love yourself. You are gorgeous. You are amazing. You are incredible. You are smart. Your grades are really good. Okay, great. Now I want you to convince each other that you both are loved. You have to convince the other person that they're loved. And we're gonna do this until you guys believe it. You are loved. You are so much better than everyone. You are good enough. Nani, please. Worry about your grade. You are worth every day you live. You need to take care of yourself. You are so beautiful. You are so kind people. You are awesome. Hey, this is so beautiful. Do you guys feel this? Yeah. You start the scene using what you're feeling. Go. Come with me. What? No. Where? I'm going camping for a few days. I'm getting married in 10 days. Oh, yeah. We won't be back by then, so I guess we'll have to cancel the wedding. That's not funny, Lucas. I can't go with you. Of course you can. But you don't want to, right? I guess that's what I came to hear. Part of me really does what I want. What happened to the lift free? Follow your dreams, girl. Gavin's the only family I have, and maybe I just need someone to take care of me. You were the one that told me being weak is okay. It's also contagious. I can't do it all the time. I don't even care if my life is less beautiful. Okay, great. So tell me how you guys feel. I feel weird. 
Okay, explain. I just feel like, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like, just like that. Like this? Is yeah. It, is it like uncomfortable? Not really, but like kind of. Like, like what, like why? Like, what do you think, what do you think is, um, is making you feel like that? Like, what are the thoughts? I just, I've been taught my whole life not to be mean and having to be mean for like that five, 10 minutes. It's like weird. Cause it's everything I've been told not to do. Yeah. Yeah. But I actually want you to consider that you are mean pretending you're not because yeah. all those things you say, you're still saying them, right? Yeah. So where's your space for your humanity? What do you mean? Does that make sense? Where do you allow yourself to actually be a human being and not allow yourself to have thoughts? It's just, just, well, your mind, right? Yeah. Because you have the thoughts anyway. It doesn't mean you're me. Yeah. I actually, guys, I want you to get that you are not me. The thoughts that you have are me. Yeah. But that's not who you are. You are not your thoughts. Because I promise you, if you were your thoughts, when your thoughts disappear, you would disappear. Wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. If you were really your thoughts, but you're not. So you get to say who you are. And just because you're having mean thoughts doesn't mean I am mean. It just means I'm having a mean thought. Yeah. Yes. So to allow yourself to have those thoughts allows them to go away. The more you resist something, the more it persists, right? Mm -hmm. And the scene got even more natural. More, like the end, it was like the scene was full of so much love. So what about you, Anissa? Um, I am actually mean to myself. Yeah. The energy I bring out is mean to other people. Okay. So having someone tell me to be someone is not like, doesn't come out weird doesn't want not natural it's not natural because you're yeah. mean to yourself is that what you're saying yeah yeah and you're mean to other people because you're mean to yourself it's never yeah. about the other person you're always judging assessing based on you but those thoughts that you have about their yourself they just come from a very very long time ago because look you were able to say you're beautiful and you're this and you're that and you lit up, right? So I have an I have an assignment for you, actually for both, for all of you, write this down. For 10 minutes, sorry, no, that's too long. Five minutes every night before you guys go to sleep, write this down. Five minutes before I go to sleep every night, I promise. Wait until you guys write the I promise part before I continue. So five minutes before I go to sleep every night, I promise I will look at myself in the mirror and set my timer for five minutes and tell myself all the beautiful things about myself. So for five minutes, you're gonna set your timer every night before you go to sleep and tell yourself all the beautiful things about yourself for those five minutes. Because for 24 hours of the rest of the day, you guys are being mean to yourself. So don't you think you deserve five minutes of being nice? Because being nice is created. Being mean is automatic. Because you are having echoes from the past about something. And obviously if we had a lot more time, I'd go in that with you. I mean, that's for my classes. If you come into one of my classes, we go back further in time and more in depth. But yeah, do you guys get it? You gonna do that? You gonna take that on? Raise your hand. Everyone that's gonna do it. Everyone, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Okay, good. And by the way, this is gonna create self-love. And that's what we need to be better actors is self-love. Because yeah, look how good the scene got when you did it again. Amazing, amazing. 
You both are amazing. You feel good? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Amazing. Awesome. Great job, you guys. Thank you. Great, great job. Okay. Are you guys learning a lot? Okay, good. Yes. Okay, good. All right, so. Um, okay, so, yeah. All right. All right, we have time for one more monologue. So we are gonna do a little monologue. So I'm, I'm just doing this as I see it, you guys. Like I said, like I said, this is by chance of who hits the buzzer first. And, you know, I like I said, I, I, I might get to a bunch of you, I might get to a few of you, and that's what it's looking like today. I'm only gonna get to four people today. So if you actually want the chance to work with me in the future, you gotta you got to get in one of my classes and do like a feedback ticket or do an eight person class, you know, to actually get a chance to work with me. Okay. So, um, do we know that person? Huh? Have I worked with her before? Okay. So it probably should be someone I haven't worked with before. She's the one we just did with. Are you going to work with her? She was just on the end of the monologue. Hang on. work with a guy okay. okay yeah so okay. i'm just gonna do the first guy because i haven't got to work with a guy so um hello. javier yeah hello where are you um here oh there you are huh? hi thank you so much for this class oh you're welcome you are so welcome so you're doing a monologue right yes um where are you from i'm from guatemala Oh, so cool. Okay, great. Uh, who do you connect with? Can you like bring the camera down a little bit? So it's not, there we go. Okay, way better. Okay, um, who would you like to connect with and work with in the monologue? Okay, so it was, I met this girl called Amber. I don't know if she's still here. Amber, are you still here? Just kind of like flail around if you're Amber, so I find you. Amber, Amber. Amber, is she here? Amber be flailing around. Oh, right there. Where? Oh, there she is. There she is. Yeah, I see her. I see her. <laughs> I'm like flail around, flail around. I was okay. like, she's just like, hello, I'm here. here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pin each other. Pin each other. Okay. How do we do that? Have I got a? Okay, talk, Javier. Javier, can you talk? Yes. Hello. You see him? <laughs> Hello, here. There are so many people in here. I'm just skimming through. Okay, let me make Javier talk again. I'll spotlight you for a second. Hello, I'm the hacker. There are so many people in here. I'm just skimming through. Okay, let me make Javier talk again. I'll spotlight you. Whoa, whoa! Why do I hear such crazy echo? Hold on. <laughs> oh, sorry, that's me. She's on your sorry. Oh, you're on my live. Just turn your phone. Down. Yeah. So hold on, let me just uh, let me just spotlight him for a second. So you can... Okay, he's spotlight. Can you um can you pin him? I... But he needs. Oh, to... uh, how do I pin him? Yeah. Double tap it, or there are three buttons. Oh yeah, double tap. Are you on a phone? Yeah. Double click on him. I think it's pinned him. Okay. Okay, so if I talk, do you still see him? No, I see you. Okay, um, Javier, talk again. Okay, hello, Amber, Javier. No, it's still not. Why won't it let me pin you? Okay, go back to, uh, go back to, do you have, are you on speaker view? You might have to, you have to double tap him again. So once he talks again, just double tap him one more time. Okay. okay Javier, speak. Hello. No, he's still not letting me. Can you see him? Okay, you're just making yourself. Okay, as long as you can see him, it's not a problem. Yeah, I'm yourself. 
Okay, great. So Javier, where are you now? Okay, there you go. I'm gonna pin you. Everybody pin Javier. And, um, okay, everybody else go off video. Everyone go off video. Everyone go off video. Okay, and um, whenever you're ready, Javier, take your time. There really is one person out there for everybody. Why wouldn't you wait just for the right moment to tell them how you feel? And if the two of you are really meant to be, you have to believe that the right moment will come. And I think it has tonight. And I know that like, if I try to tell Amanda this in person, it would never come out right. And I'm always much better when I can write things down. But this, this is what I've been wanting to say to her for the past four years. Like, how my heart stops every time I see her, or how her smile ranks up there as one of the most beautiful things in the world, you know? And I told her she deserves better than the Mac Dexter. I know she does. There's so much more to her than that. And I really want her to know that. Well, it's not like I'm thinking she's gonna read this and run away with me to Vegas, but if she just give me a chance, just the slightest chance, then who knows? We might really be happy. Thank you. Oh, this is such a cute monologue. So uh, why did you pick this? Um, well, I am not in a new school, but um, when I was in the first school, I remember a lot of people starting to ask girls out, you know, and there was that um, rush of how I had to ask someone, you know? And I think that's how, so did you feel, when you were in school, did you feel like you had to ask someone out to um, to be accepted or something? I think it was, yeah, I think for being more included, I think. In, more included? And was, there, was there like this one girl or, or one, I, I don't know what your preference is. It, mm -hmm. Guy or girl, it doesn't matter to me. What, what, which, what? Uh, it was a girl, yeah, it was a girl at the time. At that time, you know. Yes, it was a girl on a gray. Okay. Okay. So at the time it was a girl, and at the end, did she did she like accept? Sometimes, but she didn't want anything serious. You know, she was just just like. So what was that like for you, not being able to be with like? Something it different? was kind of. I think it was more of what other people was gonna think. Like, um, what are they gonna say when they figure out this girl isn't like serious about it? Uh -huh. I think. And that was kind of a real bit scary, I think. Do you remember the moment that you were scared about it? It's like a very specific moment. Like I was, very, very clear moment where you were like, oh, and it scared you. Maybe when a friend asked me about it. Like, okay, so what, so what happened? So she was like, no, and I was starting to uh, figure out that she was not very serious about it. And so I, and that friend told me, so you you like her, is it going on? And I remember feeling this rush in all my body, like, no, it's not, but what do I tell him? Do I lie or what? Okay, and what did you end up saying? Oh, I think, I think I lied and something like, <laughs> I think it's going good. Yeah, I think it's going good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what did you say about yourself? in the moment when he sat, when he said, oh, how's it going? And you know it was going bad. And then well, you said, you said, oh, it's okay. What did you say about yourself in your head? In well, I thought maybe I'm not, like, I don't have the skills to talk that good with girls at that time. Okay, okay, that's something maybe you said, I don't have the skills. What else did you say? I said, Mm, maybe I started questioning with if I can do it, if I can't do it with this girl, if there's another girl, maybe I won't do it again. Oh, like maybe if I, if this doesn't happen now, this won't ever happen again. Yeah. So what does that, what does that mean about yourself? If, if you're saying that? Well, at that point, I think that meant that I was really insecure and I was really, um, in I was So insecure, what, what does that mean? Like, what did you say about yourself? If you're insecure, you are what? you like i had a lot of uh, external reference about what other people think so maybe 
afraid, I don't know. Yeah, like I'm afraid, mm -hmm. I am not. Is there anything else? I'm not uh, looking for a specific answer, I'm just looking. I'm not good, maybe I'm not good enough. To, I'm not good this. enough, yeah. Do you see how many of you have I'm not good enough? <laughs> Do you see how not special you are by saying I'm not good enough? Do you know everybody in the Zoom thinks you're not, they're not good enough? Everybody in the comment section, if you think I'm not good enough, if you think about yourself that I'm not good enough, write in the comment section. Yeah, that's what I think. I also think I'm not good enough. Yep, yep. Look at all this! All the time, all the time. me, 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 yes. Do you see <laughs> that? Every day. Do you see that? See how many people, even in, <laughs> even in, even in this land, even in TikTok land, if you think you're not good enough, write it in here. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Look how many people. So who said I'm not good enough? Me. You did. Yeah, yeah, isn't it funny? Yeah. So how how yeah. is your life how has your life um, been affected by you saying I'm not good enough and I can't do it? Whatever you said. Well, it affect, I think it affects well it affects me in the way of you know being pushing myself down, being like okay this is the limit no more you know that's yeah so how does that how does that affect your relationships uh well i think it affects more well i think it starts with affecting your relationship with yourself because you start feeling unconfident and then because you feel unconfident you feel uncomfortable around your friends maybe yeah so, you, put, you push them away don't you yeah. but you don't really share yourself yeah, you don't share. Things. Yeah, isn't it exhausting? Like, how? What is it like for you that you can't share yourself, your real self? What is it like? It's like frustration. Like, yeah. It is me, but if I show it, maybe it won't. Yeah, isn't it exhausting? Yeah. Oh my God, you guys! Isn't it? It's, it's exhausting to pretend that you're fine when you're not. It's exhausting not to be authentic. Because you said when you were a kid. Or when you were younger, you still like yeah. it. When you're younger, that I'm not good enough. <laughs> Who said it? Me. Yeah, because what actually happened? She just wasn't interested at the time. That's well, it. that's not what happened, right? Because that's a judgment and assessment. As a fly on the wall, what would I have seen? You would see a guy, just a kid, just interested in a girl. Well, does a fly know what interested means? No, then a uh, guy looking at a girl. A guy looking at a girl. Mm -hmm. And things coming out of the mouth. Or, or, or and you know, when your friend, what would you, in that situation where your friend asked you how it was going, what, what would a fly have seen? What actually happened? Two guys talking, two kids talking. That's it. That's it. So what actually happened? Mm, people seeing a kid seeing a girl and two kids talking. That's it. That's all that's happened. And you said, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because the two kids were talking, you said, I'm not good enough. Yeah. Is it crazy? Yeah. Okay, so what's the first line of your monologue? Just say it right from there. Okay. It's Just like, if there, is, if there is a person out there for everybody. Do you think there's a person out there for everybody? Yeah. Okay, so say that. It's like, if there is a person out there for everybody. Okay, what's the next line? Uh, why wouldn't you wait just for the right moment to tell them how you feel? Okay, so why wouldn't you wait? What do you mean by that? Maybe like, why wouldn't you express it? Like, why wouldn't you tell her? Do you like, just take the chance? Yeah, why wouldn't, why would you wait, right? Go ahead, say, why would you wait? Why would you wait? Why wouldn't you wait just for the right moment to tell them how you feel? Yeah. Okay, keep going. Don't use the words. I want you to make it up. Make it up. Because you know, you know this monologue. You don't need the words. <laughs> and, okay. And if the two of you are meant to be, you have to believe that the moment will come. You have to what? You have to believe that the moment will come. Okay. I think it has tonight. What has tonight? I have the chance to tell the girl like I like her. When do you have the chance? Tonight. Yeah, okay, keep going. You're doing great. <laughs> Tonight. And I know that, like, if I try to handle this in person, it would never come out right. And if you try to handle it in person, it won't what? It won't 
come out right, it won't work. Okay. It wouldn't work. And I'm always much better when I can write things down. You're always much better when you what? I can write things down. Okay, yeah. Why, why are you better when you write things down? Why? Because I'm not facing the person. It's yeah, it's much easier to write things down, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, okay, keep going. Um, sorry, I just got distracted. No, um, it's great. This is how. This is what would happen in life, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, keep going. This, this is what I've been wanting to say to her for the past four years. What have you been wanting to say? How much I like her. Like how my my heart stops every time I see her, or how her smile runs up there is one of the most beautiful things in the What's world. What's your smile like? What is it like? It's beautiful. It's enchanting. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay, I see. <laughs> right, keep going. Um, you know, and I told her she deserves way better than Mike Dexter. I mean, I, I know. Who's Mike Dexter? A dumb guy she's with. Why is he dumb? Because he treats her, he treats her bad. So. Yeah, and you wouldn't treat her bad, right? I wouldn't. <laughs> and I know she just des she deserves way better than that. I know she does. I mean, of course she does. She's a princess. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not like I'm thinking she's gonna read this and run away with me to Vegas, but <laughs> just give me a chance, just a slightest chance, and who knows, we might really be happy. Well, just just so that somebody gives you a chance, right? Wouldn't yeah. you love if somebody just gave you a chance? Yes, just a chance. Just a chance. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna give yourself a chance? Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah, because you gotta choose yourself. That's how you give some. That's when that's when someone else will give you a chance. Is when you choose who you really are. Yeah. Despite what you believe, despite what you like, you know, you choose who you are. Yeah, you choose who you are and who you want to be. Yeah. Wow, that was a great, great scene. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't it great? Everyone come back on video. Wasn't that great? Wow. His reactions to me. We were just talking, weren't we just talking? Yeah. <laughs> Did it feel like you were acting? I feel like I was waiting for you to say, okay, start. But then I realized I'm doing it right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you didn't, you, you weren't even, you weren't acting. You were just, you were just talking to me. Yeah. Thank yeah, you, you were doing it the entire time. You were having a conversation. Yeah. Thank you so it much. So it was so great. How do you feel about yourself? I feel great. Yeah, it feels yeah. awesome. Yeah, you were just like, like all those, all those beautiful reactions you were having. They happened because you did not plan. You were just in the moment. You actually really got connected to what happened when you were younger. Well, even the rushes at the time, it felt exactly the same. Yeah, you felt it. Yeah. That's really, oh, so great. Really great. So. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so great. Okay, so I'm going to put you into a breakout rooms to say what you've gotten in the class. And um, you guys are going to share what you got. What are you getting? What have you got? What did you learn today? And um, just allow each other to, to speak. And then when we come back in, we'll go into q and I know that I didn't get a lot to a lot of people. I know that. And I told you that at the beginning, this is how it's gonna go. And if you guys really wanna work with me, get into one of my other classes. You know, get into a class where, you know, get into the, the class, get into a feedback ticket, you know? That's how we, that's how we can, we can do that. Okay, so talk to each other. You guys get a few minutes to chat. Um, let's do four per room. Okay, that's fine. I now do it for, um, let's say, five minutes. That's good. Well, Seems that's a lot. Let's do four three. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're back. Whoop, whoop. All right, now we're gonna go into q and I'm gonna talk to people that I haven't spoken to before. Okay, so if I have spoken to you, I'm not going to pick you. I'm going to pick people that I have not spoken to before. Okay, so starting with Ariel plus Lenoi. Ariel, Ariel, that's my middle name. Hi. Um, we, we are from Israel, actually. So 
if our English is not very good, so excuse us. <laughs> your English is great. It's way better than my Hebrew. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Do it. Oh, yeah, do. thank you. Yes. Ariel, so, um, or Ariel, or however you say it. Ariel. Ariel. Like the mermaid. <laughs> like the mermaid. <laughs> um, well, I wanted to ask if um, successing without uh, your family support, it's something that you can achieve. Like, if my family doesn't support me. Oh, absolutely. Look, how old are you guys? I'm 17. Mm, I'm 15. Yeah, so you're 17 right now. So when you're 18, you, you, don't, you don't have to... I mean, if you're under your parents' roof, there's... Obviously, I believe you have to respect your parents. But once you're 18, you guys, you guys have your life to live. Because at the end of your days, who lives with yourself the most? When you're in your deathbed, who have you, who have you been living with the most? My, with myself. Exactly. So who yeah. has to make yourself happy? I, like me. <laughs> myself. You. Yeah. So you don't need your parents to tell you what to do because then if you listen to them and it's not really what you authentically want to do, you're not going to be happy. And mm -hmm. then you'll end up then you'll end up hating your parents for it and then you'll blame your parents that you have a horrible life when it's not your parents fault it was your fault for not doing what you wanted to do right yeah. right so if they if they be mad for a few minutes and they're mad for a few minutes but at least you still love your parents in the end because you chose what you wanted to do yeah <laughs> and i'm i have a question yeah uh, how can you success in um, like in Israel or another country? Like out of your say, like you what? Know that, what um, Sh uh, Shara, what's her name? Shara has. What's her name? Shira Ha, Shira Has. Is that her name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She's from Israel. Yeah, yeah. From and also Gal Gadot, oh, Gal Gadot yeah. Wonder Woman. Yeah, she's she's. Natalie Portman is Israeli. Yeah, but it looks like, um, like it's really it's, like one to hundred. It's not like it's, it's, also, it's like it's also that here too. It's also one to millions here. Yeah. <laughs> like, it doesn't matter where you live. I hate to break it to you. The odds are the same. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter where you're from. Start start in Israel. Start going to auditions. I don't know what the film like is, is like in Israel. But look. And if there's nothing there, look. Start looking somewhere else. <laughs> okay. Do classes, do everything you've got to do so that way by the time you're ready to be like, I'm going for it. You've already have your feet wet. I just want I just want to say that you're giving us so much motivation oh. and you're doing it great and yeah I, I we really love you oh well, so, i love you guys you. i'm so so happy so great and um i there's one other girl in here i know for sure and leah she's also from israel and she's yeah. always, the first time she ever spoke to me she was like i can't be an actor because i have an accent and i told her i was like i actually want you to give yourself permission to have an accent because you could have an accent and be perfect for the job. So allow yourself yeah. to have the accent. Maybe the character's from Israel. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. You, you should not discredit yourself just because you have an accent. If you see like, oh, this person, you know, they're American. So either I have an American accent or I can't be them. No, they could be from Israel. Unless it specifically says they are from South Alabama with a hover. <laughs> southern accent <laughs> yeah but i think accent is something you can work on of course like, yeah. you can of course, of course all right well great talking to you guys very much love you welcome i love, love you guys okay okay for <laughs> okay we finally got an experience Coralie. oops now we lost you Hi. Hi. Um. So I think like my main question is um, how can you like get into the kind of like 
acting sort of industry if you're not like financially in the best place. If you know what I mean? Okay, well, here's the, like, good you know- here's the good news. I just spilled water on myself. That's why I left. <laughs> um, here's the good news. I missed my mouth. Uh, the good news is, <laughs> is that to get an agent doesn't require any money. Okay, no money to get an agent. And if an agent's asking for money, it's probably a scam. Because agents, legit agents don't ask for money. They make money from what you booking a job. So number one, you don't need an agent to get, I mean, you don't need money to get an agent. Number two, you would need money to take classes, right? But you don't need money to practice by yourself. You don't mm-hmm. need money to go online and grab scripts and learn the scripts. You don't need money to go on YouTube to, to look up classes. You don't need money to make your own Zoom class with other people, like a working class with other actors. You don't need money to self-tape yourself. Look how much you can do without money. And if you really wanted to take a specific class, find a way to get the money. So when I went to, when I went to um, LA, I love telling the story because when I went to LA and if all of you've never heard of Bernard Hiller, who I speak about all the time, Bernard Hiller is an acting coach, very famous acting coach. He's coached celebrities all over the world in LA. I really wanted to go to his class, but his class was almost two grand, almost two grand when I went in LA in person. Not anymore, it's, it's on Zoom. It's not that much on Zoom. But when I was in LA, it was very expensive for me. And was I gonna let that stop me from going? No! So you wanna know what I did? I sold my couch, I sold my, I sold my chairs, I sold my cabinets, I sold my paintings, and I sold my bed. And I got there. <laughs> I got there. And I had the best experience of my life. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> I don't care if I have a couch, I don't care if I, I have a bed. And then I ended up moving back to Florida, but see, I see, I made it happen. I didn't let money stop me. Now, okay. obviously you don't want to end up on the street, y'all. <laughs> it doesn't mean go end up on the street with no food, take care of yourself, right? Yeah. But I didn't see myself as someone to be stopped by money. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, <clears throat> Alien Hi! Hi! What's up? Oh my gosh, I love you so much. I love you too. Um, so my question is, I know that you um, advise everyone and like say that it's better to start off at a young age, but what if you don't have the possibility to do that? And like when you're like 18, you don't have any experience to why start off. Why don't you have the possibility to start at a young age? Well, um, because my parents aren't like that supportive about that, but uh, also because um, I don't like really have um, like the right places and the right um, like auditions or whatever to do okay. in the local that I live in. So I get it. So your parents don't want you to have an is that what's happening your parents don't want you to get an agent um well i i feel like it's not mainly like that they don't want it it's just that like there is there aren't any uh, where i live and where do you live i live in like a rather small town in um italy and like anything that's actually like big and like that you can actually do or like in the bigger cities in the south Okay, so why can't, why can't you submit to them anyway? Well, uh, for example, I uh, I think that like I've looked into these and most of them uh, are like in-person classes because you can start taking well, classes. Well, with agents, with agents, why can't you submit oh. to an agent? Uh, I'm not sure, like I've looked for agents, uh, like I've looked for agents kind of like everywhere. But I, I haven't been able to find any, so either I'm not looking hard enough or... Maybe you're not looking, I can, I can promise you you're not looking hard enough because I'm sure there's agents in Italy somewhere. And you don't, a talent agent, an acting agent, and you don't have to live in the same place to have them. Mm-hmm. And if there is, if there really is no um, agents, 
look in another country over. Look in, uh, what, what's close to Italy? Spain? I know there's yeah. agents in Spain. Look in Germany, I know there's a, definitely agents. There's definitely agents in Italy, because I met some. Okay. Yeah, so just keep looking. And with classes, do online classes. Okay. You no, know, one of my classes, one of my classes for feedback tickets is what, like 50 bucks? 40 bucks! You could do that. Or you could join one of my classes for, for a, um, you know, for the general, general ticket. Or go find somebody else on Zoom and take mm -hmm. class with them. You guys don't need to, you guys don't need to take classes with me. I just want you to be out there doing something for yourself. I don't care if you take one with me. I don't care if you take one with somebody else. Just make yourself happy. And because I promise you, when you take classes, because it's your passion, you'll feel fulfilled. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't even need to really be auditioning because you feel fulfilled. And then when you actually can audition, it's just going to be like icing on the cake. Does that make sense? Yes. You got this. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Well, our 10 minutes is up, but I'll take one more, one more question. And um, that's from Jordana Winsenberg. Jordana Winsenberg? Winsenberg, Winsenberg. Winsenberg. Hey, Winsenberg. Hi. Hi. Hi, it's so nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Um, yeah, so I just have a question on how to really find um, like Zoom classes and like what websites to go to. Okay, so what do you what what are you looking for? Like just general Zoom classes, or just are you asking specifically for my Zoom classes? Um, like both. Uh, to just kind of like start acting, I guess. Um, How old are you? I'm 14. Okay, so you're 14. Um, so yeah, what where do you live? I live in Illinois. Illinois. Okay, great. So I'm sure there's a lot of classes um, in Chicago because it's such a big hub for film. that if you mm -hmm. look for teachers and acting teachers in Chicago, you'll see, uh, and, and then just look, or do they do they have Zoom classes? I mean, I definitely have Zoom classes. And if it's not, if it's something you wanna look for other people, just look in Chicago, you know, acting coaches in Chicago. And then look up, you know, reviews about them or just look up something so you know they're legit. Mm -hmm. And uh, Haley says, I'm in Virginia and taking classes with Eliana. Yeah. Right. So I, I coach, I coach um, one of my students was well, she, she, a friend of mine who's also, I also coach her. She lives in uh, Norway, you know, coach. and I coach, I coach everywhere, everywhere. So it doesn't matter where you live. And I also have one more question. Uh huh. Um, so when it comes to like school and like going, um, having Zoom classes online, and when it comes to having an agent, is it like hard with balancing both school and like um, classes and everything? It's only hard balancing something like that if you say it's hard. I mean, yeah, there's a lot to do. There could be a lot to juggle. But if you say it's hard, it's going to be hard. If you say it's easy, it's going to be easy, right? Because what is hard? Who's saying it's hard? Who says it's hard? Me. Yeah, you. So it could be easy. Let it be easy. Isn't enough things in life hard? You can make it happen. You guys are big people. Does that, does that help you? Yeah, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, you guys, one last thing I wanna do. I want you to look down at your piece of paper that you wrote at the very beginning of the class of your goal. So go look at it, go read it. Go look at your piece of paper and read it. Did you accomplish that goal? Raise your hand. Oh, look, Jarrell has two thumbs up. Okay, uh, Jarrell, what was your goal and what did you accomplish? Well, um, my goal was to connect more to my scripts, become a better actor and become more confident and, and a better reader. Um, I accomplished those by doing the breakout rooms nice thank you um and listening to other people when you were talking to them and um telling them to you know connect more to it and feel for the the lines amazing awesome and you guys he did that by listening did i work with jarell at all no did he accomplish his goal 
Yes. Dilam. Dilam. <laughs> I didn't realize that it was me. I didn't think that you would pick me actually. <laughs> no. But what was your goal? Uh, my goal was to become more confident while I'm acting because I'm I usually get really nervous and this is pretty new for me and uh, I also wanted to the things you said was really important for me about uh, being um, comfortable with your own with yourself and stuff so that really helped me in general so thank you so much for that you're welcome did you accomplish your goal by being yeah oh, I love it Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, who else? Who else accomplished their goal? Maria. Maria, wait, hang on. Maria. Hi. Hi. Hi, so my goal at the beginning of this was to become more confident in myself because I always used to be really hard on myself. Mm -hmm. um, I've, I wanted to become a better actor and sound more natural because whenever I um, in school and we did our musicals every year like they would they would say I need to be more natural because I'll be just like reading it off and not really natural so I want to be natural so it'll be more better I guess and yes. I also um, wanted to you know um, learn more from this and I did a lot with the breakout rooms and I met a lot of wonderful people awesome and it was amazing so you you got your goal yes I, amazing I, amazing and look did i work with maria no do you know everybody else i've everyone i've just spoke to i've all got their goals and i did not work with them but yet they got their goals so raise your hand if you're someone that wanted more confidence and by this class you got more confidence look at that and i actually want you guys to get something it has nothing to do with me do you guys get that this, you having more confidence has nothing to do with me? It actually has to do with that you allowed what I said to hit you. Right? I didn't, because I could have been saying anything and you could be like, this girl's nuts. But you didn't, you allowed it to come in. So who allowed it to come in? You did. Do you see how much power you guys have? Do you guys get you could be confident all the time if you just allowed yourself to be? Nothing has to happen. What happened? I just spoke a lot. Right? I just spoke a lot. Nothing else happened. Did some did some did somebody come slam you in the head? Get more confident. No. You just said, I am more confident. And you are. So you all are amazing. This is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I will be doing a recap of this on my... Uh, YouTube so you guys can see this um, to everyone else that I didn't get to work with you all are amazing you did amazing work today and I just really want you to be proud of yourself take a second to like just look at yourself take a deep breath in be like oh my god I'm so proud of myself and say something nice about yourself ready take a deep breath in and say something nice about yourself go go say something nice about yourself okay great 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 so you guys, I mean, I do more classes, as you know. It's on my website if you guys want to do more classes. I have, web, I have more classes open. You go on my website, you can register for them. Um, and if you have dying questions, like dying, dying questions, ask one of the people that I work with in here.